Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, friends. Long time no see. Not for, you know, at least, uh, well, a little, little more than 12 hours, I guess. How's it been? How's it been? How we doing here? Back to your regularly scheduled stream programming. Hope y'all had a lovely evening, day, whatever the case may be. Good to see you. Fell asleep before the end of the stream last night. It's been known to happen, especially once we get longer streams like that, for sure. Start watching the VODs. Prioska. The start was rough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's definitely one word for it. But, you know, we, we made it through. <laughs> we made it through one way or another. Could I do it again? I don't know. But, but we've made it this far on the randomizer and there's no signs of slowing down. Had your evening disrupted, but it's going better now. Glad to hear it, Xavier. Started doing an XL. Are you interested in watching? I'm not sure what you what you mean by an XL. Did you start your own randomizer? I'm always I'm always happy to hear about other people's randomizer experiences if that's what you mean. But managed to catch up with yesterday's stream. That is there's very little downtime to do that, Savon. That's impressive. <laughs> Worried that you've locked yourself out of the main quest line in your MMO, but other than that, life is good. That's oh, that would stress me out for sure. Best of luck. Hope that isn't the case. Hey there, Lisa. Welcome on in. Good to see lots of friendly, familiar faces. And names dropping on in. Good to see y'all again. Hope you had a lovely evening. Did anyone else, by the way, last night? This is... Uh, this, I've got to preface this. This is very not PG-13. Don't look into this if you're under the age. If you're under the appropriate age. But did anyone else binge the first four episodes of Has Been Hotel last night? I, I have been keeping my eye on that project for a long time. And I, I finally seeing it come out. It was uh, It was a good time. It was, it was a good time for sure. No spoilers, but... No clue. First first four episodes are out on Prime right now. The first the very first episode is free on YouTube. You can actually watch it on uh, on Vivzy Pop's channel or on, I think, the like official Amazon Prime channel. Don't know what that is. It's uh, I'm not but I'm not going to dive into it here because it's it's a it's an 18 plus show. And definitely deserves the rating, but uh, yeah, it's it's one you need to be of the appropriate headspace and age for. So, <laughs> all I will say, the mu music is goaded. Music is top tier, <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say. I I quite enjoyed the songs, so. Hollis, thank you very much for being a member for seven months, by the way, at the Electron level. Thank you, thank you for the support. That's amazing. Puffertle me. We got we got to get through Poke Doku first, but Puffertle is on the horizon. You know, speaking of, we should probably get started with that. Oh, well, I guess first thing I should do, in keeping with stream traditions here, we got to pin that goal, right? First time in a while, we've started a randomizer stream without the goal being to befriend somebody. It's an exciting time to be here. All we have to do is catch a stonefish to start the stream, and then uh, and then we can go from there. The world is our oyster. Stonefish time, heck yeah. Have a good one there, Piroska. Thank you so much for dropping on in. Take care. All right. Y'all ready to do our dailies? Hold on, I'm actually going to go turn down my, my thermostat. It is like... Un it, it is unreasonably hot right now. <laughs> I had it up because during the night it gets like insanely cold. It got down to like minus 27 overnight or something like that. But now it's uh, it's gotten quite a bit warmer. So I need to do that. Otherwise I'm going to like die of heat stroke over here. Ooh. Watch befriending come up after the stonefish. There's a very distinct possibility. There's st still a lot of people to befriend. So. 
All right. Make sure I'm all situated here, situated properly. Let me get my, let me pull up my Poke Doku for you, and we will we'll learn a thing about Pokemon, a thing or two about Pokemon together, shall we? If you don't know about Pokemon, it's all probably going to go over your head, but but maybe this is interesting to some of you. So, <laughs> so here we go. We're going on in to the Poke Doku Master Puzzle by Yubel Dark. I'm not familiar, but uh, occasionally they come out with these master puzzles, which I think means that is obviously curated by a certain person, and I think it also means that some of these can have only, like, one correct answer, whereas, like, the normal puzzles have multiple correct answers. So, so we gotta be careful here, not to, not to lock ourselves out. All right, a Sinnoh Pokemon that evolves by friendship. This, this whole grid looks pretty, pretty scary to me, just, like, looking at these different categories, but I think we're gonna be okay. A Sinnoh Pokemon that evolves by friendship. This is the post-evolution Pokemon that you need here. Give me a Lopunny on this one. Not Mega Lopunny, merely regular Lopunny. 43.5%. That's probably the highest one. The other ones could have been, I guess, Lucario would have been another one. There's probably other ones as well. Roserade, maybe? No, Roserade evolves with the Shiny Stone. It's, it's Roselia that evolves with the, with the Friendship. Either way. Sinnoh Pokemon Mega Evolution. We could go Mega Lop Honey. That's that's right there. But I'm feeling Mega Obama Snow this time. I feel like everyone forgets about Mega Obama Snow. 12.8%. We take those. Has branched evolution. A Sinnoh Pokemon that has a branched evolution. Sinnoh is my like it's it's the region I started playing Pokemon in. It's generation four. So I should know this. A branched evolution from Sinnoh. It has to be the pre-evolution of a branched evolution in Sinnoh. What has multiple evolutions in Sinnoh? There is, um, there's po there's Pokemon. There's definitely, definitely options for this Pokemon. Oh, Burmy. Burmy goes to Wormadam or Motham, right? That's literally 100% is the only option. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's, there's literally no other option there. It's the only correct choice. That's scary, but I landed on it. All right. A flying type Pokemon evolved by friendship. Give me a Togetic on this one, I think. Togetic might be the most default choice, but I think it's uh, I think it's still a good choice. I can't really think of too many others. <laughs> a Mega Evolved Flying Pokemon. You got Mega Salment, Mega Salments. Mega I, I said Salments, like it's the like it's Salmons the YouTuber exclamation point Sal. No, but it's Mega Salamence. There's also Mega Mega Pidgeot. We could go Mega Pidgeot on this one. Pidgeot, the OG, one of the OG Mega. 43.4%, we take those. A flying type with a branched evolution. Branched evolution flying type. So it, this could be, could go a number of ways. Wait, no, this is, um, it's the, it has to be the pre-evolution, I think. I think Scyther works here, doesn't it? Bug flying evolves into Sci Scizor or Cleavor. I think Scyther can do this. 100%. This is so scary, dude. <laughs> How am I finding the correct answers both on both of these? That, the fact that these are both 100% is kind of wild. All right. Um, a grass type evolved by friendship. I said it earlier. We got yourself, got yourself a Roselia right there. Roselia, easy, 67%. There's, there's another one out there somewhere. Mega Evolved Grass type, you got yourself a Mega Venusaur, you got a Mega Sceptile. There's gotta be another Grass type, surely. I, like, the starters are such, such a normie pick. Is there another Mega Evolved Grass type that I can think of? Mega, Abom Mega Obama Snow, but I already took that one. So I guess we're gonna go Sceptile on this one. Mega Sceptile, that's fine. 40.3%, schmoovin'. Grass type with a branched evolution. This is much easier, I think. I think there's actually probably a couple of options for this. The one that comes to mind first and foremost would be Gloom. You can evolve into Vile Plume or Blossom, right? 69.5%. That's that's a tough Poke Doku. Holy, <laughs> the fact that I actually managed to find the correct answers on those ones is is kind of wild. Burmy Scyther, like like these are. This is crazy, dude. All right, Gloom is the most popular option. Mega Venusaur, you avoided the most popular one there. What's the least common? Leavani, Mega Obama Snow. Okay, yeah, there's there's definitely some some underdog picks here. Applin is a good pick. I wouldn't I never would have thought of Applin, honestly. We got there. 
<laughs> Super impressive coming from a Pokemon noob. I mean, they called this a master puzzle, and they were they were not kidding. The fact that there are not one but two options that only have a single like possible Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, right? Yeah, Bur Burmy is the only option there, and Scyther is the only option there. 24% guessed correctly, 37% guessed correctly. Yikes. How many Pokemon are there? There's like 1,030 or something like that. Somewhere around that range, I think. All right. But we don't have nearly that many... Um, don't have nearly that many fish in Stardew Valley, so Puffertle should, in theory, be a little bit easier. Applin has three branches three ways now. Yeah, I go at you go get Applin goes to Applin goes to either Flapple, Appleton, or Diplin. And then does does Diplin evolve into Hydrapple, or is that is that something else entirely? Does Applin branch four ways? There's no shot, right? <laughs> All right, either way, I digress. We're going to get into Puff Ertle. Give me the Puff Ertle, dude. Okay, pretty. It's a, it's a pretty bog standard fish. There's nothing that's jumping out at me about this one. I'm going to hit you. This Anytime I see one that's like the pattern is a little bit just like, like there's nothing jumping out spe specifically to me about it. It's like not super easy, but not super hard either. I go to one of the basses. I either go largemouth or smallmouth bass. We'll go smallmouth bass this time. Okay. Lo no location overlap. There is seasonal and weather. O There's only yellow weather is interesting because the smallmouth bass is all weather. So that means this is a rainy day or sunny day fish only. So a rainy day fish that is available in the ocean, perhaps. There's the eel, but that's not that wasn't the eel's pattern. Um, what about a red snapper? How about a red snapper? How do we feel about that? It's just that easy sometimes. Holy. <laughs> what the heck? They're making puff turtle too easy, man. They're making it too easy these days. Red snapper. You got it too, Lisa. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Too easy snapper. That is a snap pick. Snap decision for the red snapper. Or at least it should have been. Hey there, Charo J. Welcome on in. Good to see you. Diplin evolves into Hydrapple. Okay, I'm not. I'm not familiar with like all the newest ones. I try to keep up just to keep my Pokemon knowledge at its peak, but I got Dorado in two yesterday as well. I think I did. Yeah. Not quite getting them in one, but getting them in two is is still a feather in my cap as far as I'm concerned. All right, let me do this and minimize out of here and load up a little bit of Stardew for you. Oh, one thing I, I actually all right, we're gonna we're gonna get into the randomizer. I promise. I promise this to be true, but um, I have to show off something else first. For those who were here at the last stream, you may remember at the very start, I showed off a little a little funky glitch with the Enricher. And I have to inform you that there has been there's breaking news. There is a new development with this Enricher glitch that that I need to share with you now. There is there was something that I tried and I was like, wait a minute, this could be actually be like I don't know if it's going to be, if it's useful to anybody, but it, it is interesting at the very least. It's it's a unique sort of interaction. I wanted, I wanted to show it to you. It cannot plant seeds. I, I did test that, Benny. If you, can, if you put seeds in an enricher and then try to, like, make it plant seeds, it does not plant seeds. That would have been absolutely, like, game-changing, but it is not the case. So I'm going to bring you into, but it, it does do something else interesting. I will once again remind you that I did not intentionally pr program SAS into the randomizer. SAS is organic. It organically evolves. So here's, here's, um, let me, it, hold on. It's going to be black screen for a second. All right. So the easiest way to show this is not actually on empirical farm. It's by starting a new file. It will, I have, I have some cheat mods enabled, so we'll be able to get through this quick. Start a new file. Just randomly pick somebody. Uh, okay. You look like a, you look like a. Vanessa to me, sure. And farm X Y. It, it it doesn't matter right now. It's fine. All right. Skip intro. We're all good. We just want to get in here. 
I got I got to show you this cuz it kind of it kind of boggled my mind. All right, we got we got cheat mods on. So don't worry about that. And I step out here, make this a little bit easier to deal with. We'll do debug clear farm that out of here. Okay. So, all I need for this, I need to open up this. I need to get some sprinklers. It doesn't even need to be iridium sprinklers. It just needs to be, like, any kind of sprinkler, but we'll go iridium. I'll get five of them. And I will take five enrichers as well, please. And I'll show you, so show you the method to the madness here. We'll put down five of these. We'll put down enrichers on all five. We will drop in our tools, all of them. That's not... Okay, hold on. I picked... Hold on. Give me one second. This, this is the first glitch I showed off at the end of last stream, is that you can put, like, anything into an enricher if you just hit the organize button first. So you do, so you do this. You put all your tools away. And then you go to bed. And you may be able to guess what happens here. But for those who, no, who don't know... This is kind of kind of silly. You go here. Some items were placed in the town lost and found. Well, that's curious because my tools are still right here. I can still claim all my tools, but they're also in the town lost and found. So we have just duplicated our tools. <laughs> I actually don't know if I, I don't. I the last time I tested this, I went and took them out of lost and found first. I don't know if that's going to change anything here. But we can just head over here. Check the lost and found. Collect items. We got a whole new set of tools to work with, baby. <laughs> you can make you can make multiple sets of all your tools if you really want to. The only thing that I can think of that this would be really useful for is if you wanted different tools with different enchantments. If you wanted like a like an axe that has efficient, but also an axe that has shaving, and you could you could have like a tool that has every enchantment on it. You can have one for like different occasions. Does that work for other items? I did test it with quest items, which are the other items that can go into into the lost and found, but I couldn't make it work. Maybe there is a way to make it work, but I couldn't I couldn't figure it out in the brief little bit of testing I did last night. Multiple watering cans, so you never have to refill. I mean, you could just get a, a bottomless enchantment on your watering can as well, but you could also have a bottomless enchantment and an efficient enchantment on one of them if you really want to. <laughs> you have no idea what you just joined into. We're just doing a little bit of, of, of glitch experimentation in Stardew, in richer glitches. It's, 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 it's curious. It's, there's definitely, I don't know, maybe there's more potential to this than I even realized, but it's extremely neat to to see that you can actually like duplicate your tools like this in the game also eliminates the scythe from consideration true yeah i mean you can definitely you can you can get rid of the scythe this there's there's this opens up the potential for for a few interesting strategies and challenge runs and stuff for sure as someone told algo you can have 999 tools now oh no well the tools don't stack though so that doesn't count is it won't count for the 999 challenge but but maybe he wants to do it just for posterity. Can you use it with iridium bars? It, it only works with things that would go into the lost and found, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think you can dupe anything any other way with the enrichers. But uh, you, in theory, it means you could probably do it with quest items, but I don't know. The I, I tested it, and maybe you have to do it like a certain different other way than what I was doing. But there's there's definitely a way... There definitely probably is a way to dupe quest items so that you could like have multiple copies of... like. You know, Robin's axe or Lewis's shorts or something like that if you wanted to. This only dupes because Lost and Found checks if they exist anywhere. This might work to preserve a prismatic jelly or a chi bean. Ooh. Ooh, Alexi. I didn't even think of those. Yeah, but... <laughs> I don't know. I leave... I have I've presented the knowledge to the Stardew masses. I leave it in your capable hands now to discover what is and is not possible with this with this weird little glitch. I, but for now, I'm gonna... Well, I have to actually exit all the way out of the game because I need to get rid of my cheating mods and get, get the randomizer set up properly here. But I'll get into that momentarily. 
Could Algo use it to get the tea sets? I don't think so, because tea sets wouldn't show up in the Lost and Found. Uh, where's my mod directory? Randomizer mods. Easy. Bring that over here. Oh, I think I also need... Hold on. Hold on. There's a whole hierarchy to this system, to the mods that I have to put in here. So I need this one, and I need this, and I need this. Where is it? Just, like, mods to make stuff work. Okay. This can only do tools. Yeah, mods work in nested folders. Yeah, that's what I, I have. I have folders full of full of mods, but I, I I should probably consolidate them into like one little thing. But it's fine. <laughs> I do ha I do have little like mod packs like that, but I had I had I need to actually you know reconfigure them. Either way, I digress. Yeah, I think this. I think that that glitch might only work for duping tools. I'm not sure. Like, I feel like there should be a way to make it so you can do do quest items as well. But maybe, maybe that's just wishful thinking. All right, you have a good one there, Dermeister. Have a great weekend. All right. We are officially in business. All right. Well, I guess, I mean, there's no time like the present. Let's go see, uh, let's go try and catch a stonefish, shall we? How many, how many resets do we think? Should I do a poll for this to see how many resets we think for the stonefish? Because there is the opportunity to reset due to the white algae chance. We're going to hope we don't run into too many of those. Love Beatrix's fit. Very royal. We've, we've been rocking the royal outfit for quite a while, actually. I do love it. Does Beatrix have any reason to dupe tools? She does not, but, you know, the option is open to her at the very least. <laughs> Does catching a stone in the fountain and putting it into a fish tank count? I wish. That would be that would be a great workaround. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to set up a... I was going to set up a, a cheeky little pole here. How many resets for stonefish? I'll hit you with a zero resets for the true believers. We'll do we'll just do zero, one, two, or three. And then if we need more than that, we can we can always expand the poll out, outwards from there. But we'll start with start there and just see what people are feeling today. How lucky do you feel? I mean, the stonefish is not a common fish to come across. Hold on, I want to pet you, Pi. Not a common fish to come across, and white algae is pretty predominant in the mines, so... So we'll see how this goes. All the resets. At the very least, I should be able to see, um... I should be able to tell the difference between the stonefish and the ghostfish. It's the only other fish available, so that's one saving grace here. All right, send it. 41% believe in the zero reset life. That's a stonefish right there. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure this is a stonefish. I don't think a ghost fish would jump up that quickly. All right, all right, we're done. That's easy. <laughs> Wrap it up, folks. Didn't, not, didn't even leave enough time for people to get their freaking votes in. That's so good. <laughs> Not even, not only zero resets, literally one cast. <laughs> that is so good. All right. The stonefish has, has arrived. A bizarre fish that's shaped like a brick. That's how you start off randomizer stream right there. Holy. Let's take it back home and, and plop it in the fish tank and then roll ourselves a new goal, shall we? And now we roll Befriend Krobus or something like that. That would be the way, wouldn't it? That would just be the way. Is a stonefish a real fish? I believe it is, actually. I don't think it looks specifically like this. 
But I think a stonefish is a real species of fish that is, like, highly ven venomous. He's so derpy. I love him. <laughs> I love that guy. And now the ghost fish. We've actually already caught the ghost fish, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, ghost fish was one, one earlier. The mines fish are coming together. We only need the ice pip and the white algae to, to full clear the mines. All right, so so maybe we'll get lucky with one of those. We'll see. It's been a little while since our last level up goal. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, by the way, in uh, I did do one thing last night. Exclamation point complete. There is now a uh, a different tab on the spreadsheet of completed goals that is just like the text of the goals. If you want to read it that way instead, so so if you want to read it that way or search it that way, it's uh, there is a. If you like go to that page and then like go to the second spread the second sheet that's there. It's uh for those that are a little overwhelmed by the by the images. No problem, no problem. Yeah, I figure that would be a lot better for like searchability, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright. Let me bring you over here. Catch a stonefish? wasn't even a challenge. You'd think it would be. I mean, the stonefish is supposed to be reasonably rare, but, you know, sometimes sometimes Yoba smiles down upon us. 36.5%. Moving on up. Cook lobster bisque. Lo lobster bisque? Lobster bisque? Lobster bosque? We can definitely do this. We have, we have the lobsters. We have the potential. Lobster... Bisque is how I would generally pronounce it, I think. <laughs> it is yummy. It's just lobster plus milk. Is that how it is in real life, too? Nineteen level up goals out of fifty total. That's actually kind of given how many goals we've rolled. That's kind of that's kind of on the low side. Maybe not. Maybe I'm, I don't know. I'd have to do the math on that. Either way, um, I think we only have like oh we know we have we have multiple lobsters. We have seven lobsters there. Okay, so we're fine. Lobster bisque. Boom. Easy. <laughs> All right, man. Goals are starting off very kind to us today. We take those. That plus cheese, basically. Twenty dishes cooked, sixty-six things shipped. Don't taunt the randomizer. The randomizer is I mean, I hate to say it, I think the randomizer is past its prime. It hasn't given us any sort of challenge of any kind in such a long time. Nothing unique. It's it's just keeping things so so bland, so uninteresting. It's like, oh, cook a little thing here, craft a little thing there, we do it, and it's it's just like, it's just so... I think the randomizer has lost its luster, honestly. I feel like it's there's no chance it even gives us anything that is that is remotely interesting at this point. To prove my point here, finish goal, generate a new one, catch a carp. It's the most boring fish I've ever seen in my life. The randomizer's washed, dude. <laughs> We keep on going, though. We keep on going. C-A-R-P. C-A-R-P. That spells carp. Sewers or secret woods? Uh, I wouldn't catch this in the sewers because of the chance of white algae. So I would probably do either secret woods or mountain lake on this one. And you know we haven't we haven't gone fishing in the secret woods before, so we could we can mix it up there. It's a nice little cozy place to go fishing. Yeah, sewers do have white algae, unfortunately. Lobster bisque plus three fishing. Do we think we need the plus three fishing buff to catch the uh, to catch a carp? I think there's I think there's a chance. I mean, we just cooked the lobster bisque. We could put it into action here. <laughs> Pinned goal is wrong. Thank you, Laisha. Thank you. We will unpin this goal and we'll we'll leave it unpinned because these goals have been coming so fast and loose. 
Need to tailor it. Ooh, good call, actually. Tailor the lobster bisque. Uh, that's not how you tailor things. What do we get here? It's a lobster shirt. Not really, it's just kind of a shirt. It's a wearable shirt. It's got like a sine wave on it. I'm fine with that. Add it to the collection. Should we lock in the day because of the stonefish? Yeah, we might as well lock in the day just to be on the safe side here. There's no reason no reason not to specifically. Uh, I don't think I filled up my hay today, so I'm just going to go take care of that to sate my own brain. Do that, and grab this, and do that, and we're good. Perfect. get a lazy fish that trolls us. If we go fishing in the secret woods, um, the only option sh should be the wood skip and the carp. So I think, uh, and, I, and I can definitely tell apart a wood skip and a carp, so I think we'll be fine. Man, the storm does not stop. That's like three days of storming in a row so far, I think. Man, keep it coming, I guess. <laughs> keep it coming. I actually want to check. I think, I think we're only... We're one level away in fishing from having the legend unlocked as a goal that we could that we, we could possibly roll. Because if we get level six, then the randomizer knows that we can like see foam pudding up to level ten, and uh, and then all bets are off. A little spooky to think about. All right, that's not where that goes. That goes in there. Ooh, parsnip! Happy birthday, Pam! Gonna skip on a wood skip. The wood skip is not the fish I'm after today. Maybe on a, maybe another day, maybe another time. But today I will, I will skip all the wood skips. Actually, have I caught the wood skip yet? Has that been a, a fishing goal? No. Okay. Hey there, Dragonic Moon. Welcome on in. Off we go. Hi ho, Iota. Away. Excuse me. How close are we to half of all the fish? We are currently looking... I mean, we might have more than half the fish just, like, looking at this, or, like, at least roughly half the fish. I don't know. I don't know. You can maybe pause and do the math there if you wanted to, but uh, but we're, we're doing pretty well on the fishing front, for sure. The most useless fish in Stardew... That's like asking me to pick my least favorite child. All the fish have a special place in my heart for one reason or another. You can't you can't make me. You can't make me choose. Alright, no slimes, please. No slimes. At least no slimes that will that will get in my way here. Alright, we'll go we'll go around the far side here so that this dude is can just like chill. And carp time. And we'll take a little bit of trash here and there. Preferably not too much. The fishing experience is looking a little dicey these days. So I need to be I need to be careful here. That is a wood skip, 100 percent That's definitely not a carp. Actually, it could have been a catfish too, now that I'm thinking about it, because it's raining. Yeah, catfish is also technically available here, but the day I mistake a Catfish for a carp is the day I, I hang up my Stardew Valley hat. I'll take a wall basket, I guess. I think we already have one of those, right? Dragonic Mom. You are welcome on in, Dragonic Mom. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Alright, that's a carp. Carpe Diem sees the fish. Car Carpe Piscus sees the fish. 26 XP for a gold star carp. Look at this boy. Oh yeah. It's carp time. <laughs> not bad, not bad. They want us to say hi to their mom. Hello to, to Dragonic Moon's, Moon's mom. Your child is amongst good company here. They're, they're a wonderful member of our, our fun little streaming community. 
Hello and thank you. The most amazing carp. I will name you Carl. Carl the carp. There he is. All right. Well, I, I might as well go roll the next goal now, because, like, what if it's catch a wood skip, right? Then it's, I mean, like, oh my gosh, we're just right here. Like, holy. <laughs> so, so let's just go roll a new goal. Carl with a K or a C. It's up to your own personal interpretation. Either, either is accepted. Carl is pretty chill. He doesn't mind how you spell his name. All right. Finish that one. Finish that one. Now I have nothing left to fear. There, there was a time when I dreaded clicking this generate goal button. When I was like always a little bit antsy. The, the randomizer trained me to be scared to click this button. No longer. Now I click it and I'm just excited to see, you know, what new quick easy goal I can do. Like shipping a poppy. Ship a poppy, baby. <laughs> I'll go ship a poppy. I think we have probably a few of those. We probably grew them in the year of the flowers way back when. So I think the poppy is totally fine here. I should have, I should set this up differently. Hold on, I should move my notepad so that it's within reach over here a bit easier. Yeah, 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 that way I'm not constantly going back and forth. Okay, we're good now. We're good, we're good. Poppy is a fun word. It is, yeah. And the internet hasn't so perilously infected my brain that, uh, that I immediately think of Poppy Playtime when I hear the word Poppy. But we're not far off, honestly. Because <laughs> I thought I thought of it not long after I saw Poppy. But it's okay. I've still got some some neurons left firing in there that are not internet related. Ship a poppy and tailor a poppy. I don't know what a poppy would tailor into. Probably just like a dress again, right? But I'm willing to tailor a poppy and see. Been a. I mean, we've got we've got plenty of poppies to spare. I'm pretty sure. Holy mushrooms! <laughs> the mushroom forest is thriving out here. Give, give me a give me a foraging level so I can chop some of these bad boys down. My goodness. Oh, pleated skirt. I think you're right. I think it does make a pleated skirt. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, that sounds like that sounds like true poppy core. One hundred percent organic mushroom trees, by the way. No, no mushroom tree seeds were needed to plant it to be planted. This was purely a product of of sleeping for however many years we've slept to make this happen. It is kind of crazy how fast these mushroom trees have spread. There, there was a time when this was a, when this is a hardwood forest. No longer, no longer. It's all right. The more, the more mushroom trees we have, when we finally get to chop them down, it's just, it just means a higher likelihood of getting the mushroom hat. Then we can fulfill all of our toad cosplay fantasies. All right, giant cauliflower, yo, we got one. Look at it! I didn't even- I wasn't even thinking to check for it. We got the giant cauliflower, baby. Holy, it's so big. <laughs> Such a big cauliflower. And we still got room for more. We got room up here. We got room over here. Giant cauliflower. I don't know if I have the heart to take it out. I mean, we'll, we'll leave it at least for the rest of spring. We'll see what happens when we decide to plant our melons in summer. But, uh, but that is exciting for now at the very least. If we get all three, we have to keep them. It stays forever, right? We do We do tend to get a little attached to these things. All right, there are poppies in there. I just wanted to clear these out before I forget. Okay. Don't need that for now. It's fine. It looks great. It blends It blends right in so nicely. Okay. Um, Which of these poppies shall I ship? And which shall I tailor? Honestly, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go like. I'm kind of feeling the orange poppies right now. I'm gonna tailor one and I'm gonna ship one. 
Yeah, we tailored a white one in the past, so we'll tailor orange one today. I feel like tailoring a red one, like the like the red pleated skirt would be just a little bit too vibrant in my mind. Can the Junimos harvest mega crops? I don't think so. But we'll have to turn on on harvesting at the end of the day, or at the end of the season, just to just to see. Can the wall basket go up in here? I don't think it can. No, okay. Wall basket. Right there. Perfect. <laughs> we got two in the kitchen now. These mushrooms can go over here. I guess I should put the carp in the, in the fish tank down here. It's like a cauliflower meteorite. It's a great visual. Just a cauliflower hurtling through the atmosphere at Mach 10. Striking down upon your farm. I love that visual. Plus, it would be a nice roasted cauliflower by the time it made it down. I'm not a super big fan of, uh, of cauliflower just on its own. Like, as part of, like, a, a veggie snack tray or something like that. I'll usually go for the, the celery or the carrots or the broccoli before I go for the cauliflower. But roasted cauliflower hits different. It, there's there's something about that just roasting the cauliflower does. There you go, cute little pleated pleated skirt. Look at that. We, we might be due for an outfit change in the near future here, but for now I'm too excited to roll the next goal. So uh, so let's get to it, shall we? Well, actually, I know I can't roll the goal yet. I have to I have to sleep first because I have to ship the poppy. Carp is essentially just a less fancy koi. I think koi would be a fun fish to have in Stardew Valley. There's definitely mods for that. There's definitely mods where the koi exists as a fish. I'm pretty sure I've seen those. Maybe it's even in Stardew Expanded. Ooh. More rain today? The rainstorm has finally passed! I don't know, the rainstorm was bestowing upon us pretty good goal luck, so I don't know if this is uh if this is a good thing or not. Craft Mayo Maker goal, let's go. Is that what you got in your randomizer, Alice? Or is that what you're hoping for here? I'm either way. Either way I'm pogging. That's what we're hoping for here. Mayonnaise machine would be good. Befriend Sandy. Krobus star drop. Walnut room. Backpack. Level up. There, there are many myriad options out here. Marriage. Marriage would be fun. We have, we have one star drop, Colleen. We've managed to get one star drop. The one from Old Master Cannoli. That is the only one we've rolled so far. So, so you know, maybe we're due. Maybe we're due. Poppy shipped. 37% onward and upward towards 38% and 39% and 40%. If we get an insane streak of lucky goals here, we could get up to 40% today. I'm not going to hold my breath for it because our next goal is going to be to craft a wicked statue of all things. <laughs> Which actually shouldn't be that bad. I don't know if we have the recipe for this, but I think you just buy the recipe from Krobus, right? The wicked statue. Wicked! Exclamation point wickedy. I do love the wicked statue. I think it, I think it's a very cool little decoration here. Where are my notes here? What does it do? The wicked statue makes it so if you put it in a coop, I think, then the witch can't come and like put void eggs in your coop. And I think it also works in a slime hutch that the witch can't come and turn your slimes into black slimes. I believe that's the case. It, it wards off the witch. Let me write this down. Wicked statue. Do I have a slime hutch? I do not, but you know, I wouldn't be opposed to getting one. <laughs> I don't know when the time would be right to go and build a slime hutch necessarily, but 
But maybe we should add that to our, you know, to-do list, one of our fun side quests we could go for. Need a wickety statue mod? <laughs> that would be so good. Just replace the wicked statue with a statue of wickety instead. That would be so beautiful. I don't have a slime hutch because I wimped out on Dwarf Scroll 3. I did what was best for the challenge at the time, and I have no regrets. I, I do not regret my decisions. And you can't you can't you you can't convince me otherwise, Alexion. We all we all came to a consensus decision on that one. Certified copper axe moment. We would still be going for Dwarf Scroll 3 at this point if we had gone that route. All right. Do I have the recipe? I do actually have the recipe of the Wicked Statue. Five coal and 25 stone. All right. It's hilarious that the refined quartz is more problematic than the iridium bar. <laughs> Just the way the randomizer rolls. That is that is pretty good. All right. Wicked Statue. One wicked statue coming right up. There's something unsettling about the look of this statue. It's so wicked. New achievement artisan! Ooh, wait, that's new hat? How many how many crafted items is that? Artisan. Craft master, fisherman. Art where's artisan here? Artisan. Artisans is Ness. Artisan. Craft 30 different items. Holy. <laughs> there you go. Take your place of pride amongst the other statues, my friend. Alright, well, I will I will happily roll a new goal, but I gotta go check what our next what this hat is. I don't know what the I don't know what the hat for artisan is, to be honest with you, so I'm excited to to be surprised for it. Wait, hold on, I just gotta just got just gotta make my way through here. Ship hay is not a goal. Thank goodness, because shipping shipping hay would be so unbelievably hard for us. We don't have anywhere near enough hay that I would feel comfortable shipping even a single one. So I'm glad we don't have to worry about doing that at any point. A very artisanal hat, I would hope so. Yet another point against the artisan profession, by the way. Why do they call it the artisan profession relating to, like, artisan goods when the artisan achievement has nothing to do with artisan goods? It's about crafting. Make and make sense, Concerned Ape. What do we got here? Bowler hat, sombrero. Yara, Santa hat, earmuffs, delicate bow, hunter's cap, daisy. Trucker hat? <laughs> Mesh in the back to keep your head cool. I think trucker hat is the new one here, right? Or is it blue bonnet? No, we've had blue bonnet before. Olka bow? Is it trucker hat or is it the trucker hat for artisan? <laughs> so good. All right. Well, add it, to, add it to the collection here. Trucker Beatrix has arrived. Trucker Beatrix is here to take your money. Trucker Beatrix rolls up to you in a dark alley. Alongside, alongside her best friend, Homie. What do you do? All right. Trucker Beatrix can wait for another day. She looks like Ash Ketchum. Why does it go with your shirt? It does give Ash Ketchum vibes, doesn't it? But isn't Ash Ka Ash's hat red? So this is like the, the Luigi version of Ash Ash's hat. Trucker Beatrix isn't real. Trucker Beatrix can't hurt you. Trucker Beatrix. <laughs> Yo, Tanya, thank you for being a member for the three months at the Neutron level, by the way. Thank you, thank you for the support. Been rewatching The Price Perfection and have trouble not reminding you to check the trash. <laughs> it's a different time. It's a different time. We are, the trash the trash saga is behind us, but <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. By the way, to avoid doing winter forge farming, I'm going to be spending like 50 hours resetting skull caverns for crystallariums. Alexion, you are 
<laughs> uh, you know, I didn't think there could be a, a more dedicated, patient Stardew Valley player than me these days, but... But you know, there's there's always someone out there that's be that's better than you at what you do, and that's what I'm that's what I'm learning. That's wild. Oh my gosh! I, I wish you the best of luck in that one. Haley speaking the truth. What'd she say? Go live your own life. We're working on it, Haley. We're working on it. <laughs> We're making progress here. Eventually, we'll unlock the we'll unlock all of the. All the rest of our life. One one randomized goal at a time. Alright. I digress. Let's go roll a new goal, shall we? Wicked statue was successfully crafted. So wicked. So statue. I can't. Ayana's the cha chaotic neutral in chat. What would Ayana say? There's hay in my hands. Ship it. <laughs> I, I could definitely use use the money, use all zero gold I get from it for this next goal, to fund this next goal, to gain a forging level. Forging level number three. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since our last forging level. I don't remember when it specifically was, but we, we were definitely overdue at this point. We do not have a steel axe, no. We could go try to enchant our axe, and that would give us the opportunity to use the experience from chopping, um, like, like those logs around our, around our crop field. We could go for the mushroom hat. We can reset if we get the wrong enchantment. We can, but... Trying to get another enchantment at that point would not uh, result in a different enchantment because the enchantments are like seeded in the order you get them. So we could we could reset in order to preserve our materials if we got the wrong enchantment, but uh, but we wouldn't be able to like save scum it. Gain a deforesting level. Enchant us so we have a better chance of having all three giant crops. That's a good that's a good point. Yeah, we'd be able to plant a lot more crops. I'm will I'm willing to give it a try. I'm willing to give enchanting our axe a try. We have the resources to make it happen. So I'm willing to at least, you know, see it through here. Are you happy, by the way? <laughs> there we go. Hay successfully shipped. I can ship what I want when I want, and you can't you can't make me. You can't stop me. Do I need any spring forge for the future? I think we have our spring forge on lock thanks to I think we grew a bunch of it in the past with like wild seeds and stuff. Good looking out though, thank you. Do I have prismatic shards? I believe I have two prismatic shards. Yeah, we got two prismatic shards banked here. They're they're in rare supply, but we have enough. If we needed to get more prismatic shards, we definitely could with the amount of staircases and stuff we have. Take one of these. It's been a while. Been it's been a minute since I've held a prismatic shard in my hands. We'll take the cinder shards as well. Just might as well take all take all of them. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'll go to Ginger Island, I'll sleep there so I can easily reset the day, and then we'll go and test the enchantment luck. What foraging level is this? This is a level 2, or level 3, I believe. Yeah, level 3. Which officially puts combat as our lowest stat. They were, they were tied for the longest time there, but combat's going to be our lowest stat officially now. Or one out for combat. Tapper recipe. This does unlock the tapper recipe, doesn't it? Yo, the ta tapper goal is officially on lock. There's a, there's a chance to roll it, which means that we might have we might say goodbye to to wood chippers for the for like sap purposes and stuff.
Very exciting stuff. A level up's always exciting because it does unlock like extra cooking and crafting recipes and stuff a lot of the time. Which just means more goals at our disposal. All right. Beach resort is temporarily closed. I'll open that back up because, like, why wouldn't I? Always let Emily and Sandy destroy them as a fun birthday activity. Bonding over just absolutely trampling all the <laughs> all all the wood chippers in the desert. I would love that. I mean, hey, if you know, even if we don't get the powerful enchantment, we could. There's there's definitely. I feel like we could probably level up in a uh, in foraging just around here by chopping like all these mahogany trees. I'm just trying to find a good spot to plant this other mahogany seed. You can go right there. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and put away all the stuff we don't need right now. We can bring some of this stuff back home once we once we head back tomorrow. But for now, I sleep. I sleep next to my lovely futon bear. Oh, what a great what a great day of shipping, <laughs> man! Top ten best money making strategies in Stardew Valley. All right, still raining. I guess I guess the storm just went from the mainland over to Ginger Island here. Ooh, fifty wood from Robin. Why not? All right, let's go. Uh, like I think I have. I don't I have crab cakes here. Just make this a little bit faster. You know, I, I mean, I, by the time I left, hey, uh, crab cakes. One little crab cake. Wood for chopping. This wood was made for chopping. And that's just what it'll do. So what are the options that we could get on our axe here with the enchantment? You can get powerful, which is the one we want. You can get efficient, and you can get shaving. Are there any other enchantments that we could get? I think it's I think it's a third oh there's swift there's swift you're right there's a so there's a 25% chance that we get what we want here. Yeah, swift is another one. All of the things being equal. 25% odds. I never tell me the odds. All right. Copper axe. Here we go. Can we spam some copper axe emojis? For good luck. We want we want a powerful copper axe here. A powerful copper axe, nothing else will do. Get my copper axe copper axes of wellness here. Let's go. Let's go. We got a chance. We got a chance. With this with this much optimism on our side, nothing can stop us here. Show it to me. Show me the goods. Moment of truth is swift. <laughs> Taylor! Taylor, why'd you do this? No, Taylor. Well, that's unfortunate. We have we have a second prismatic shard. We could technically try and like roll another enchantment, but uh, but I don't know if we expend all our prismatic shards on this on this endeavor here. I think we just we just eat the loss. Look it up on the predictor. Steph, you, you know we don't do predictor strats around here. You know we don't do predictor strats. You might allow it, but I wouldn't I wouldn't feel right. I've, I've av I avoid the predictor when I can. At least so far I have. <laughs> it's alright. We get we got lots of options as far as forging XP goes. I'm not sweating it. Do I have a I don't have a farm warp totem. Okay, we'll just we'll just take the long way home. Fifty wood. I forgot about that. Sorry, Robin. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, should we? I guess we could chop trees on Ginger Island here. For we are running low on hardwood. We are running low on hardwood. Should I chop chop the mahogany trees here for foraging experience, or should I go home and chop like mushroom trees and stuff? We have huge stumps. Okay, we can chop stumps at home. That's true. Yeah, we still have stumps on uh, on the farm that we need to chop. Okay, I think it's probably we're probably better served trying to clear our farm at home a little bit. Ooh, hello. I'll leave you be. I don't need your aquamarine today, but thank you. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Oh, there's stumps on Ginger Island. Well, I feel like we should still probably focus on clearing the farm at home, since that's where we spend the majority of our time. But if we if we need to go to Ginger Island for any other resources, then we, we have that option. Free the cows. There is like a stump in front of one of the in front of one of the barns. Possibly in front of in front of multiple of the barns. Farm stumps, more grass for animals. I didn't even think about that, but that is true, yeah. Mushroom trees too, but save first. I think I don't think I'm gonna save scum the mushroom trees. If we get the mushroom hat, then it's serendipity. It was meant to be. And if we don't, then then we'll just have to wait for another time. Since, since the mushroom hat is not mission critical, I feel like I would not want to reset for it. Just finished binging all the VODs and finally caught up. Yo, A. Roberts, welcome on in. Happy that you were able to make it to a live one here. Welcome, welcome. Three hundred and four Omni Geodes we got there. We're closing in on enough to be able to like trade like three hundred and thirty three Omni Geodes for for goodies at the Desert Trader if we wanted to. That could be a fun time. All right. But first things first, we got a foraging level to gain here. Three hundred and ninety experience, minus fifty three. We need three hundred and thirty seven experience. We got stumps, stumps for days. Let's start with the ones that are down here, impeding our animals. I think that's a good thought. 25 experience at a time. They're so congregate. They're, they're all gathered around the stump. They're waiting for it. They've been waiting for this momentous occasion for so long, my friends. The stump, you're finally free of the stump's tyranny. Get out of here. <laughs> Be free, my animal friends. Ow. And this stump, this stump has been kind of more of a pain than any of the other ones, honestly. Because it blocks, now I can actually, you know, make a, like, a gateway through this way. They're all so clustered. <laughs> I didn't realize how much, how much these stumps got in their way, dude. They're all just clamoring to get out here. I'm so sorry, my friends. Get some mahogany seeds out of this, too. I'll have to fix the the pathing around here a little bit as well now that now that we don't have to work around the stumps as much. Okay, stump right there, stump spotted. Pick up truffles. Ooh, I could pick up the truffles, you're right. Should I pick up the truffles? I guess there's no reason not to. I feel like it would just be good to have the truffles. And if we're gonna pick them up anytime, it might as well be now, right? Truffle me. Truff gold star truffle me. And a truffle. Alright, we get, get a little farming experience in the interim. That's fine. We don't need to worry about that so much. Pet pets are okay these days. It's a, it's a petter's market these days. Okay. We're at 302. Let's continue chopping stumps. Ship mix seeds that are already in the inventory. What is what is with you guys wanting me to ship things that are worth zero money? <laughs> I don't know where the, I don't know where this uprising has come from. What are you gonna have me ship Omni Geos next? Any stumps by Pi? That's a good shout. We have we have enough XP for one final stump. There's some down there. There are these stumps. I mean. I'll take I'll take one one experience for these ones. We literally need eleven experience, eleven more experience to to level up here. You know, foraging is is coming so easily these days. In 
here 27 we finally chopped some big stumps we did chop a few in the past for our last forging level i'm pretty sure but but not that many cursed this is so cursed right now what the heck is going on here i'm gonna get this stump out of here this one this one's this one's being a, a rabble rouser get out of here that's level three forging perfect Mix seeds. I'm not going to shift the mix seeds, I'll, but I will get the money for them from putting them in my gold trash can. I think that's a fair compromise. Get foraged. There were some hidden rocks back there. They they've they survived the rock purge of year like 23 or whatever. So I think they I think they deserve to live for right now. All right. The rocketing of 2023. I think we're good. We're good to lock in the day now, right? We've done everything we need to do. Man, that's that's a hard day's work for Beatrix. Look how far down her energy is these days. Oh my goodness. Allie, welcome on in. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Jump scare warning, by the way. Level up jump scare. New crafting recipe tapper. It's so it's such a good recipe, it's the only thing that you unlock at this level. <laughs> Beautiful. What are we now? We're currently a farmhand. I think we were still a farmhand last time. Oh, she's dancing. She's dancing. She's got the moves. Alright. What say you all to a, a new goal? A morsel of a new goal? I think. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Next goal, craft a tapper. It's it's on the docket now. There's a potential. There is potential for that to happen. 37.4%. Show me 37.6% off the back of... Acquire the Museum Star Drop! What the heck is this? <laughs> I wanted a star drop, but not this one. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we've got our work cut out for us today, friends. We got our work cut out for us today. Oh. Oh, that makes me feel alive, though. Doesn't that just make you feel so alive and excited? We've been doing all these namby-pamby. Oh, I'm going to run around, ship this. I'm going to cook this that I already have the ingredients for. Craft this. Wah, wah, wah. Nah, museum star drop. Let's go. Let's take a challenge here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Star drop museum. Gunther, I'm coming for you. I was challenging the randomizer earlier, that's true, and I'm glad it heeded my challenge. I'm so glad. All right. We have to do an assessment here. We have to do an assessment of what things I need for the museum. Because in order to get the museum dar star drop, we need to complete the entire museum collection. So we need all artifacts and all gemstones. So we need to see what we're missing. So let's pop on over to the game and see. Well, you can just check our collections pretty readily here, right? So let's see. So artifacts. Let's start with minerals. I feel like we've all the minerals. Wait, have we donated all the minerals? Are all of these? I actually don't know. I don't think it'll tell me in here if I've donated them or not. I've, I've at least found all of them. Prismatic Shard. I have donated Prismatic Shard because it would show up as like, you know, Gunther could tell you about this in here if, if I hadn't, but. Minerals. I remember we did do a lot of mineral donations when we were going for Crystallariums, right? We want, we want to get a Crystallarium from the museum, so we donated a whole bunch of, of this. So I think we're pretty good there. We can count the museum. That's true, too. Artifacts is going to be another matter, though. We need... Alright, so we need Elvish Jewelry. We need... I don't think we have donated a dinosaur egg now that you're talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> a rare disc, an ancient sword, bone flute, prehistoric scapula, and tibia. Um, Golden mask. Okay. Okay. So some of these are available from Artifact Troves. We might have to do a little Artifact Trove 
like save scumming if we wanted if we wanted to we could definitely make that work bone nodes do bone nodes have a chance to drop the scapula and the tibia benny you're so excited about the bone nodes <laughs> also the desert they do have the chance for it okay Zero point eight percent chance from the bone nodes for a scapula. All right, so we need our artifact tro. We can get the gold mask. I think we can get everything except for these two out of the out of artifact troves, right? Skeletons drop them. I know that you can get a tibia from Pepper Rexes and a scapula from skeletons. That's true, but. Combat would be a tough way to go about those, especially considering our combat level. Scapula's artifact spots in the forest. We can do an artifact spot check there as well. Um, so we have 42 artifact troves. I think we honestly just take these and we send it and we and we hope for the best. Like, if we don't get all of the artifacts we need out of 42 artifact troves, then we can come back and we can. We can finagle with like our 304 Omni Geodes to try and try and make it work, but I think we honestly just go and open these and see what we get out of it. I think that's a good place to start, and then uh, and then we can dive into the Bone Node strategy. We can keep track of the numbers. Here's the thing: I don't think we necessarily need to keep track. Well, we should keep track of the numbers just in case. Yeah, just so we just so we know which ones we actually need to open if we do have to do a little bit of scumming. But if we get all of them out of these artifact troves, then there's no reason to hold on to the other artifact troves anyway, yeah. But either way, exciting times. I'm going to go ahead and put away... Well, first I'll go fill up my hay for the day. Then I'll put away everything else. I guess I can bring the... Uh, I can bring a chest. Yeah, we have, we have a free chest in, that we can bring to the... To Clint's here in order to make this a little bit easier going. So I'll put these away for right now. And we got this spare chest. I knew this would come in handy, I, and I didn't just want to pop it down and throw, like, random stuff in it. You love to see it. You love to be vindicated that way. Your nemesis in three out of three of out of four playthroughs was the chip Damphora. <laughs> the chip Damphora, it's it's one of those ones that sticks in my brain. I think it must have been like one of my last artifacts on like my first ever playthrough. Because for some reason it also sticks in my brain pretty heavily. It's like oh, oh I should bring a dino egg, you're right, you're right. It also it it sticks in my brain because it's like only available in the Well this this was a pre artifact trove era. I think it's available from artifact troves now. But it used to only be that you could get it from artifact spots in, like, Pelican Town. I'm pretty sure that was the only spot for for Chip Damphora. Okay, Dinosaur Egg. We only need one. Thank you, my little Dino Bro. We'll, we'll, we'll use, you know, we'll use a nice high-quality Dino Egg. Wait, I have donated a Dino Egg. You guys are gaslighting me. It's not saying that I haven't donated it. <laughs> It's all right. We all we all had we all had collective amnesia because I also believed that I hadn't donated it. Scroll up, I dare you. I believe you, as palindrome. I believe you. All right. Oh, I should bring. I should have brought my my hoe actually because I could check for artifact spots down here. Not that there's that many places it could realistically be anyway. Okay. Before we go and open our artifact troves, I do want to count up and see, like, see if, like, our artifact collections and our mineral collections match up to what we have donated in the museum so far. Because sometimes they'll show up in your collection if you found, if you found them, but not donated them. And sometimes you donate something and it doesn't show up in your collection as well. So we should, we should check here and see what we actually have. So let's see. How many... How many minerals are there? One, two, three, four, five. Fifty-three minerals? So the fifty-three minerals. 
Are we ready for counting with Argon? Wait, hold on. How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18, plus this is 10 here, so 28, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's 37, and 46, And 47, 48, 49, 49, 50, 51, 52. Is the is the, am I crazy or is there 50? Did I miss something somewhere, or are we uh, are we one shy? Hold on. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. None of the rest of this is gemstones. None of these are gemstones. No gemstones here. This is 18. It's 9 times 2. So that is um, 24. 34 plus 18 is 52. <laughs> Alright, what are we missing? We Now we have to figure out what we're missing here. I'm missing 2? Artifacts, okay. But do, do we go one by one? Esperite. Esperite is possibly the one we're missing. We have found one Esperite. Is Esperite not in here? Eagle eagle eyed viewer. Who said it? Alice. Alice said that Esperite is not here. Shout if you see Esperite. Esperite. The crystals grow light bright green when stimulated. Here's the thing: in the collection, it won't it won't say like the the Gunther text. Even if you like haven't donated it, it'll it'll still give you this description. Yeah, I believe Esperite is missing. I'm I'm scanning. I'm scanning as closely as I can here. Yeah, good shout, Alice. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Esperite is the one that's missing here. Okay. All right, wait, what do we get Esperite out of? Is that Frozen Geode? I want to say Esperite is Frozen Geodes or Omni Geodes. We have enough Omni Geodes that we could definitely probably just do that. But uh, we'll, we'll go through Frozen Geodes first if we have to. All right, good to know. We need we do need that one. Yeah, Esperite is the one we're missing. Yo, thank you, Alice. Claps in chat for Alice, Alice Wiley for uh, <laughs> for noticing that so quickly. I was I was getting ready to you know start comparing one by one to looking for all the different different ones, but but Alice just caught that one sight on scene. Incredible. Okay, um, we'll put our chest here and start going to town, I guess. So what are we looking for? Let's just so, just so we're all on the same page here. Out of artifact troves, we need elvish jewelry. Rare Disc, Ancient Sword, Bone Flute, and Golden Mask. I'm, I feel like you can get all of those out of, an ancient, out of an Artifact Trove. I could be wrong, but Elvish Jewelry, Mask, Bone Flute, Sword, Rare Disc. Okay. Let's do this. Clint, don't fail me now. Chipped Amphora, of course. <laughs> good start, good start. Chicken statue. Ooh, a little dwarf dwarf gadget. I don't mind that. There's the elvish jewelry. All right, that's one. That's one. So that was that was number five. Okay, that that was artifact trove number five that we opened, and we got elvish jewelry. Okay, write it down. Write it down. Take notes. This will be on the test later. More chicken statue. Chicken emojis. Anchor, arrowhead. I don't know what the rare. I feel like all of these are like equally rare out of artifact trows. More elvish jewelry. It's not looking good, fam. <laughs> it's not looking good. Rusty cog. Come on, just give me, give me something else. Give me something else. Another elvish jewelry. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's a yikes. That's a yikes from me. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little, little dump here. 
three Elvis jewelry, but nothing else so far. Artifact troves are being a little bit, little bit cruel today. That's fine. Glass shards, no big deal. Rusty cog. Elvis jewelry makes a good shirt. Well, it's, it's good that we have multiples then. <laughs> Ancient drum. Golden pumpkin. Yeah, we might have to dip into our Omni Geode reserves at this point. That's four Elvish jewelry. Another chicken statue. Bro, the Elvish jewelry is... There's... Okay, rare disc. Rare disc on... We started with 42. So this is rare disc on number 29. Rare disc on 29. Okay, Elvis Jewelry on 5, Rare Disc on 29. Okay, that's 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 fine. At least we've got 2. We've got 2 out of 5 so far. I believe. Exclamation point optimism, if you believe. Ornamental fan. Good for the good for the wedding veil at least. Come on, eight artifact troves in a dream. Ancient drum. Elvish jewelry number number six or something crazy like that. Golden relic, it's not the gold one we want. It's not, this is not too pretty. This is not too pretty. All right, two more to go. A pearl, a nice pretty pearl. And one more to open. A rusty anchor. Okay. Make note of the ornamental fan as well. Pearl on 40. Do we need to note the pearl? Do we need to note the pearl on 40? I wouldn't mind noting the ornamental... Pardon me, the ornamental fan. I think that is a good one to take so we can do the, do the tailoring with it. Pearl is good for tail... Okay, so pearl for wedding dress. Okay, so... So it was pearl on 40... Or no, it was Pearl on 41, right? Because it was that was the second last one that we got. Okay, hold on. I need to I need to write these down myself. Alright. Alright. Elf. So 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 we're looking at I'm just gonna write down the numbers. Five twenty-nine. What 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 was the ornamental fan? What was the ornamental fan? I didn't track that one. Does anyone know? <laughs> anyone want to go back in, in the VOD and check that one? 529. 35 for Elvis Jewelry for tailing. Alright, I'll mark down 35 as well. Okay, 529, 35. It's in the first slot, but yeah, I but but I don't know when I like like on what number I, I dumped into the chest. 22 is golden pumpkin. I don't think we need the golden pumpkin, because I think we already tailored one. 11 left when we got it. We want we want to make sure to 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 nail this. We want we need to we need to we need to plan our artifact trove route effectively here. <laughs> there were 12 left. So it was on number 30. Ornamental fan is 31. When there were 12 left, and that was it. We had 11 left. Okay. So we want the ornamental fan. Yeah, we want the ornamental fan for, for tailoring purposes. Fan on 31. Okay, fan on 31. Okay. So we got 5, 29, 31, 35. Okay. All right. <laughs> this this feels familiar. This feels familiar. I had 42 troves. Yes, that's correct. Pearl is 41. Oh, yeah. Por Pearl was 41. I forgot to write down 41. That's right. Okay, 41. Already had a fan from two VODs ago, you think? Do we have... Did we already tailor the wedding veil? I don't, I don't remember that we did, or maybe we held on to an ornamental fan, but... I remember we were talking about it, but I don't think we ever actually got the ornamental fan.
use frozen geodes for stuff to get and then do some more later. Okay, I also want to check. Um, I'm going to open the wiki page for artifact troves real quick just to make sure. Artifact trove. Where are we at here? Artifact trove. You can get... You can get a gold mask. You can get a bone flute. And what was the other one? We need the sword. You can get the ancient sword. Okay, we, so we can get everything we need out of the artifact troves. I just wanted to, to verify that for myself. Okay. Oh, Flip got it and expanded. The or ornamental fan got you, got you. No worries. Fan might be 30. I'm going to go with 31, and then we can we can correct if, if need be in the future. Maybe. <laughs> All right. When I got when I got the fan, there were 11 left. So that was that would have been 31. Did we watch on two times speed? All right. I, I bid you the best of luck. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and that's that's enough information. Let's go ahead and reset the day here, and we'll uh, we'll get ourselves situated for another round of geode farming madness. <laughs> There's something very satisfying about, you know, about plan planning your artifact trove route or your geode route or anything like that. There's something just really, really satisfying about it. I don't know what it is. Cat, bring you back here. You're confused? So as a refresher for those who might be confused as to what's going on here, or who, for those who don't know to begin with, um, all geodes and things that you can open at Clint, so this includes, you know, geodes, frozen geodes, magma geodes, omni geodes, artifact troves, and gold coconuts, uh, anything you can open at Clint, they operate on a set table. So there's like a list of all the things you can get, and based on what your seed is in the game, it goes down that list in order. So if I were to go and open the 42 artifact troves that I just opened, I would get every I would get all the same items in that exact order. However, um the way it counts that list is that it, it basically when you open something, it checks what it is, it moves and it moves to that like index on I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this. Basically they're all on the same list. So, like, if I had opened an Omni Geode instead of an Artifact Trove, I would have gotten whatever that Omni Geode opened, but it would still move down to the next item in the list, and it would basically just skip over whatever that Artifact Trove would have been. Um, so, by do so by opening an Omni Geode instead of an Artifact Trove, we can effectively, like, move the list or the counter down by one, you can, or you can move it ahead by one, in order to get the next item without having to open an artifact trove and and waste that artifact trove if that makes sense i'm i'm bad at explaining it in the moment but <laughs> the different geodes are columns on the same table basically yeah yeah think of it like there's like a table and there's a column for each type of geode that you can open at clint's and then um and then there's like a pointer that points to each row. So it's like the pointer starts at the top. It would start at like zero geodes opened. And then you open a geode and then it would move down. And then it's it it, it just keeps moving down the table based on uh, how many geodes you've opened or how many things you've opened at Clint's. But it gives you the item based on which where that is in the table. So I take more geodes and get all the stuff I want and then open all the others after that. So yeah, it's it basically what it is is it um like for instance, because I want the elvish jewelry, which was the fifth artifact tro trove that I opened, I will open four omni G I can open I can either open five artifact troves or I can open four of any other type of geode. So like four omni geodes. And uh and then an artifact trove, and I'll get the Elvis jewelry on that artifact trove. Basically, all that matters is the amount of things that you've opened at Clint's, not the actual things themselves. 
until you get until you get to the one that has like the specific item that you want. We saved the other Elvis jewelry because we could get Esperate on five or something if we want to check. Bone nodes are seeded. Okay, so we can't reset for bone nodes. That's good information. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but... Okay. Esperite is frozen geodes or omni geodes. So we should bring both of those. What if we get another prismatic shard from an omni geode? That would just be... That would just be a nice icing on the cake. Okay. Let me get my... So we want artifact troves. Artifact troves, frozen geodes, omni geodes. We only have three frozen geodes to work with, so that's that's a little bit <laughs> that's, a, that's a little rough, but we'll we'll make it work one way or another. We'll probably just start with the frozen geodes and hope for the best. Okay. Yo, I appreciate you counting, Miss Palindrome. Because we we did have a lot of opportunities to get Elvish jewelry, so we can definitely. You know, we don't have to stick necessarily to the first Elvis jewelry that we got, which was on number five. We can always go to a different one if we need to, based on, based on like if we need to, if we want to like test that on a different geode type. <laughs> it starts getting complicated for sure once once you start you know mixing in like three different geode types here, but but we'll we'll make it work. Okay. I can break all the bone nodes to see if they give any, then reset and break them. Wait, you can break them all, see if any give it. If so, reset and break just then, and if not, then reset and sleep. Because sleeping will change the will change the like pattern basically of what okay, okay, because like every day moves up by one on the on like the RNG grid. Got you, I got you. So there's still there's still a way to save scum the bone nodes. It's just not the way that we normally save save scum things in this game. Man, imagine doing the randomizer without save scumming. Couldn't be couldn't be me, dude. <laughs> Maybe there's a braver soul than I am out there who's willing to undertake that mission, but uh, but but it's it's such an integral strategy for so many things here. Should we check the desert art desert for artist artifact spots for the mask? That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna open artifact troves today anyway. Well, I guess I can. I'm here. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this, and then we can we can check. We'll see how the artifact trove hunt goes today, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So there's nothing of interest in the first three, so we can just use the first three as frozen geo checks for Esperite. Two. Counting with Ar- This is- this is like the final exam of counting with Argon. Three. Okay, so the first three frozen geodes have nothing. Good to know. We are now at four. So we go Omni Geode. Okay. And now we go Artifact Trove for Elvish Jewelry. So that's five. Okay. So now we're going all the way until 29, right? Now we're going until 29. Okay, so count it with me. We got six. Seven. Hoping for Esperate out of one of these. Eight. Nine. Ten. I probably could just, like, pay attention to the number of Omni Geodes I have, but, but I've started counting now. Eleven. Twelve. The suspense is killing me, dude. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15. A 16. A little thunder egg on 16. Okay, drop everything off for right now. Seventeen. Ooh, iridium more. There was a time that, that would have been very exciting. <laughs> 18. 19. Star shards, the lucky star shards. 20. 21. This is 22. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. 23. Little Neptunite. 24. 
No Esperite in sight yet. 25. 1.1% chance for Esperite. 26. 27. In theory, that means we should get one somewhere in these uh, Omni Geodes. All right, 20. Tw Esperite! Esperite on 28. All right, mark it down. Mark it down. All right. Hold on, just in case. All right. Omni is tw t Esperite is 28. Okay. Esperite is 28. That's actually pretty good because then we can just we don't even need to count up to this point, and then we can just like uh, like once we hit the Esperite, then we know to open an artifact trove next. Okay, Esperite, there we go. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. You'll love to see it. All right, process. So now we go. Now we go artifact trove for twenty nine. For the rare disc. Okay. Um. Then we go. Okay, so then 31. So this is the one we weren't sure of, right? This is for the ornamental fan, whether it was 30 or 31. I'm pretty, But we're pretty sure it's 31. So we go Omni here. And then we go Trove. Okay, okay. So 31 is correct. Yeah, we rewatched it's 31. Perfect, all right. I'm glad we're all on the same page now. 31 is correct. Good to have confirmation. All right. And now, 35 is another Elvis Jewelry. Is it 30, 35 or 36? So that was 31. 32. 33. 34. You said 35? Okay. 30. It's 36. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you, Miss Palindrome. You rewatched it. 30, 35 is another Esperite. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. Um, and 36 for Elvis Jewelry. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now 41 is the Pearl. Okay. So 37. 38. Okay. Do a little, do a little emptying here. Okay, so I should mark down... Hold on, I need to mark down... I need to change this from 35 to 36. We're on 38 right now. Rare disc goes in. Okay. 39. A 40. Oh, another Esprit for tailoring? That's true, actually. Alright, 41 for the Pearl. And 42 was nothing from the Artifact Rose. Okay, so now... Now we're up to the index where we previously were on the table, but we have 37 more Artifact Rose that we can still check. This is where we want to be. Okay. So, hopefully, somewhere in these 37 Artifact Rose, we can get some more of what we want here. All right. Donate and lock in the day. Should I donate and lock in the day just so we have that locked in? That's probably a good idea, actually, yeah. That's, I think that's a smart idea. I, I opened up one Omni Geode after, after the Pearl, so we're on 43 now. So I, th I, think, I think that's smart, yeah. Chat, you're smarter than I am most of the time, and this, and this time is no exception. Okay, so we're going to go donate. We'll save... We'll save... I don't know how much of this we have we have we have tailored and how much we haven't, so I, I kind of wouldn't mind checking some of that. But we'll go ahead and take the donatables. Let's just go ahead and start there. What if we get what we need on forty three, etc.? Basically, we're just restarting now with with the with the thirty seven artifact troves we have remaining, right? It'll reset the RNG. No, no, it, it continues for the next day. It's fine. It does the artifact ge geodes don't go on a daily basis. They are just based on your seed. The RNG is different the next day for certain things, not for this though. All right. Um, donate. Donate me. All right, Esperite. You can hang it up here. Boom. Ooh, new reward. 
New reward! Oh my gosh, the rewards just are flowing. Holy. Look at this. Magic rock candy. Yo, that's how you don't know you don't eat all of the, uh... All of the minerals, right? <laughs> just in case there was any doubt in our minds, I think magic rock candy confirms that we got that we got everything we needed here. Okay. Sloth skeleton. I'm gonna save the sloth skeleton until we get all of them. Did I put down this other I feel like I would have gotten another sloth skeleton by now, but maybe not. Not bad, not bad. Burnt offering for the disc. Yeah, the burnt offering is a special one for the for the rare disc, I believe. Okay. Um, I can bring, like, all these ores and stuff home. That's fine. I'll leave the Omni Geodes here for now. Bring home the stuff that I know I want to tailor 100%. Any other ones? I guess I can tailor the Esperate, you know, just for posterity's sake. <laughs> I tailored an Esprite, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Oh, there's some there's some extra ore here, actually. I should probably take that. Well, yeah, I'll take the iron ore. The iridium ore is actually somehow the least valuable of all the ores here. Might as well leave the troves, I guess. Yeah, that's a good point. Leave the troves, take the ore. Yeah, I think that's fine. Maybe a superfluous use of a farm warp totem, but... I don't care. I'm feeling I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling peachy keen. <laughs> Did I donate the Jasper? I have donated all of the minerals at this point. Hence the magic rock candy. A rare and powerful candy infused with the essence of the prismatic shard itself. Holy. Alright. Go ahead and pop away whatever I need to in these places here. Okay. Looking to tailor some stuff today. I'm in a tailoring kind of mood, and the only thing that can satisfy me is wedding. Wedding stuff. Alright. Tailor the pearl. Get me my wedding veil. You can bar barely see it there. All right, tailor my ornamental fan as well, please. Ooh. All right, and tailor Elvis jewelry. That is a nice shirt. A little jewelry shirt. Blinged out. That looks nice. It is a very elven shirt. It's like an elven chainmail shirt. We're not going to put on any of these. You don't. You're not supposed to look at the bride before she's uh, before she's ready. In her dress, anyway. Okay. Um, burnt offering right above my child's bed. <laughs> don't read too much into it. We don't have a child yet anyway, so it's fine. Perfect. Okay. That's just the groom. We can look at her all we want. Wait, there's glass slippers. There are glass slippers that we ca that we can't get yet. There's no way to tailor glass slippers. We just have to get lucky with those ones. But it might be worth it. All right, we're good to lock it in, right? We're good. We're good to lock in the day now. Oh, desert time. That's true. I should check the desert for the gold mask. Good thinking, Miss Palindrome. We'll go check the desert. Anywhere else I should check? Where Where would I get an ancient sword or a bone flute or like any of the other things that I need? <laughs> Do a quick artifact spot sweep. Okay, we got one. We got one. A little mixed seeds. We'll get them next time. These the mixed seeds, they're trolling. Scapulas in the forest. I don't think I checked over here, did I? The vanilla speed looks so slow. I know, right? Compared to... I mean, I, I could probably just go pick up a speed buff and at least make things a little bit more manageable here. The Cinder Sap Forest for the sword. Forest Mountain Town for the flute. Cinder Sap has three different artifacts. Okay, 
where can artifact spots show up in the Cindersap Forest? I feel like it's just like in that northern part. I feel like there's like not anywhere else in the forest that they can even show up. Where did all those crab cakes go? We have we have them. It's just that they're not. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been using them. Crab cake, triple shot. Okay, we'll do we'll do, we'll do an artifact spot. Well, I guess maybe I should wait. Well, no, we'll we'll just check it today. It's Sundays, but I think artifact spots. Do they reset on a weekly schedule like Forge does? I want to say yes, but it's been a while since I looked into artifact spot mechanics. Quick mountain check. They do. Try Labite. They have a chance to dis disappear every day. Now that you say that, I believe that is that is correct. I think they do have a chance to disappear every day. I'm pretty sure I've heard that elsewhere. Dude, the mixed seeds are out of control. Someone someone stop these artifact troves. What the heck? <laughs> the artifact spots even. What the heck, man? So rude. Okay, take me back to the to the bus stop here. Yeah, no, I think I think they do have a chance to disappear every day. I don't think I don't think you I, I think it's only Forge that resets on Sunday. Okay. Looking for artifact spots. Forest is our friend. There's not that many. See, this is what I'm talking about. Those. There's not that many spots because, like, it has. It can't be grassy for an artifact spot to to show up. So we just have to get lucky in like one of these smaller little patches of dirt. At the end of the day, we're probably just going to get most of what we need out of Artifact Rose anyway, so I'm not sweating this too much. But I will do my due diligence. Can I show what the Traveling Merchant is selling just to tease us? I know it's not possible, but what if she was just selling, you know, Golden Mask, Bone Flute... a very interesting spot for bubbles if you know you know <laughs> all right she's she's got she's got nothing today patchwork rug though well I probably just have that at, at home in my furniture collection anyway <laughs> very blessed spot absolutely okay I feel content that we've checked for enough artifact spots here. I think we move on to the next day and move on with our artifact trove grind. Surely we can't go another 37 artifacts artifact troves dry after going after only getting like two out of five of the things we need in our first 42, right? Surely they wouldn't be that mean. I think the R the RNG is just toying with us a little bit, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry about it. I guess I'll keep my hoe on me for right now. Welcome back, Lisa. We pretty much just went and uh and ran around the valley looking for artifact spots. <laughs> that was basically it. Alright. Grab some of these. I can do another quick artifact spot sweep before while we're waiting for Clint to open today. The RNG is in cahoots with the randomizer. I mean, they're both both random based. Even if you know they can't possibly communicate with each other, they are still both made of the same stuff. At the end of the day, another Omni Geo. I guess I can bring the Omni Geode with me. Cool. 
who says they can't communicate? They're evolving. All right. Sweep the desert. Ooh, artifact spot. Spot spotted. The only thing we can get out of the desert here is the golden mask. But it's pretty, it's rare enough that it's worth checking all of our avenues here. The flute is also within the town if we want to run around there. Good call. I'm going to go do a quick look at the forest here, I think. And then once once Clint opens, we'll just make a make a beeline for his place. Yo, Tyler, welcome on in. Been loving Stardew lately. You're in the right place. Then we 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 love ourselves some Stardew around here. It can get a little bit confusing at times, but <laughs> but if you're willing to learn a thing or two about how Stardew works, then then join us on our artifact trove saga here. Prehistoric rib, not the kind of prehistoric bone I'm looking for. But you know, you're on the right track. You're on the right track here, game. Around the water in the forest. The tibia can be found at the railroad. 4 to 8% at the railroad. I like those odds. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go have a quick look at the railroad. I'm not opposed to the idea. The debris is a little bit out of control up here, but there's a spot. Mixed seeds, of course. Wait, I see another one. Skirt! Show me tibia. All right. Give me one more, one more, one more shot at the dice. One more roll of the dice, rather. No luck, no luck. Any at the quarry? Unlikely, given just how many rocks we have at the quarry, I think. But it's worth it's worth looking. Might as well go this way so we can check for artifact spots down here. Froggy. I do not see any personally. I don't even have my pickaxe, so I can't I can't take that minecart. Alright. Off to Clint's we go. Expanded has no spot at the railroad. Rip. Okay, we're gonna go to town here. Knock this out. Let's sort out the inventory here. We're back again, Clint. Don't you thought I was done last time? Nah, we still got 37 artifact troves with your name on it here. All right. So we don't need to continue counting from from 43. Now we can just count starting starting at 37. Let's do this. Here we go. You you only get one shot at your first artifact trove of the day. Ancient doll. Add it to the shirt collection. Golden mask on two! <laughs> Alright. You know, they they, bait, they did the old bait and switch. I was hoping for something on one, but you get it on two instead. Alright, that's easy. That's a good one to get as well. I mean, we need all of them, obviously, but gold mask feels like exceptionally rare. Speaking of rare, we don't need that one anymore, but good to know. Alright, chicken statue. Chip Dambora. Ancient Seed, ooh. It's a new day, full of new artifacts and new goodies to seek. Tailor the Rare Disc. We could tailor the Rare Disc, that's true. More Ancient Seeds. And more Ancient Drums. This chest is, is, is looking mighty full. 
It's looking mighty full. Oh, perfect. Yo, Kazoom. Kazoom, you've come along the perfect time. Bless this mess. Bless these artifact troves, please. We're gonna Kazoom our way on through them. Come on, show me the bone flute. Show me the sword. I believe in you. I believe in the power of Kazoom. When nobody else got me, Kazoom's got me. We got Ancient Sword! Okay, that's Ancient Sword on 21, right? Ancient Sword on 21, is my math correct? Sword on 21. Perfect, perfect. Alright. Kazoom, can you see us through to the end here? I think we're only missing the Bone Flute, right? All we need is the Bone Flute, and then we're done with the Artifact Troves. Bone Flute. Give me a good bone mo. Mask on... <laughs> if we want another mask, we could tailor the mask. That's on, what, 23? Mask on 23? Bone flute! Let's go, Kazoom! <laughs> and they say music has no power. Oh, baby. <laughs> back to back, gold mask into bone flute glory. Holy... The artifact trove grind is done, and we still have 13 to go. We still have 13 if we wanted to, but we'll leave it there. All right. Thank you, Kazoom. I will go. If we got the three artifacts literally side by side, that's actually crazy. <laughs> Look at that. And we have one extra mask that we can tailor. We have a rare disc we can tailor. This is, this is really good. I don't think we need to reset this one, no. I don't think we need to reset this because... Like, I, I, would, I don't see a reason to here. Okay. Uh, we got a lot of stuff we can tailor if we wanted to. <laughs> we'll have to, we'll have to do a def definitely do a few tailoring runs if we're interested in that. But first, let's go donate this stuff. Time to roll a new goal. Not yet. Not The museum is not done. This was merely step one, the first facet of our museum odyssey. We were miss we are missing a prehistoric scapula and a prehistoric tibia, which cannot be gotten from artifact troves. I wish. I wish we were done, but <laughs> And a little bone flute for my strange doll boy. Get out of here. Alright. We are so close. We are so close. Although tech you know, we didn't we did actually never we never checked. We never checked if we have, like, like we did, we counted the, like, minerals here versus, versus what we have here, but we never counted the artifacts here versus what we have there. Maybe we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. Hold on a minute. Damn. Lily Plumbridge, thank you for becoming a, uh, a member, or thank you for being a member for 20 whole months at the Neutron level, by the way. 20 whole gosh dang months. My goodness. Thank you for the generosity and support. Don't make it here live much, but you're happy to be here for the vibes today. It's good vibes today, especially with Kazoom on our side. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Thank you. As a hoarder, my Ultra Iron Man challenge is torture. Sounds about right. Okay. We're at 30, 35 artifacts. Hold on. How many do we need? We need... There's... 1, 2, 3, 4... So, there's 42 artifacts. You counted 39. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is 10. 25. Plus another 8 here. It's 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 40 is how many we should have, because 40 is, if if we're, if we match our collection exactly, that's how many we should have, because we're missing these two, obviously. Didn't see the Golden Relic. Classic Golden Relic Gambit. Golden Relic was hidden, okay. Alright, so we're good there, we're good. Artif artifacts, we're safe. We only need the scapula and the tibia. Little flute block. 
Don't mind if I do. So anxiety inducing just hearing it go up like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, it gets me, dude. All right. Holy moly, look at all this stuff. All right, what am I what am I doing with all this? I should should I sell? Okay. Well, let's 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 do this the smart way. We're going to we're taking the golden hoe back. Well, I guess I can leave the golden hoe cuz I'm going to have to make multiple trips anyway. What do I need to tailor here? Any of this stuff? I guess I can just like take just take take all of it and just tailor and check if I've tailored it or not and just go like one by one. <laughs> Yeah, the machine will tell me if I've already tailored it or not. So let's just let's just do it that way. We're doing a full clothing collectathon at this point. <laughs> I've definitely tailored an ancient doll, but I collect ancient doll shirts. It's just like one of Beatrix's many quirks, so, so don't judge her. Okay. 92 cloth and a dream. All right. Dried starfish has been tailored. Golden relic has been tailored. Anchor has been tailored. Ancient doll has been tailored, but but you know I got to do it to you. Perfect. Ancient drum, I'm literally wearing that shirt right now. Ancient seed been tailored. Chewing stick, correct, tailored. Chicken statue, tailored. Chipped amphora, tailored. Dwarf gadget, dwarf, guess the dwarf helm. All right, we're off to a great start. Perfect. Go ahead and I'll put away my ancient doll shirt. And we'll just, I guess we'll just like sell the rest of this. There's no reason to hold on to it, right? I guess I can like technically craft, craft these if I want to. Just for pure maximum efficiency and, op and optimal play. None of these are part of the shipping collection, obviously, so we're fine. All right. Send it back. Clint closes pretty soon here. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do enough trips here. Probably. We'll probably be fine. Okay. Hold on. Just leave, leave those for right now. I can sell minerals directly to Clint. That's true, too. Yeah. So, some of these I probably don't need to check on the tailoring front. All right, hold on. Let's, let's do this the smart way. Let's do, let's do this smart. Which ones can I just sell to Clint that I already know that I've tailored? I don't need... I don't really care to tailor Fire Quartz, Frozen Tear, because I can just get those so easily. Star Shards I've already tailored. Golden Pumpkin I've already tailored. So I can just... I mean, I'll, I'll just... I'll leave that here for now, because I'll... Can't, I can't sell it to Clint. Bring the machine to Clint. Oh, true. We could just bring the sewing machine out here. That's a good thought. Either way, I'm going to sell these three. I think that's probably probably our best play is just bring the sewing machine out here. And the dresser. <laughs> good, good thinking. I wouldn't have thought of the dresser. Man, do I have the smartest chat around in like like in the entire universe or what? You guys are so clever. Alright, take that. Take give it to me. Give it to me. My sewing machine. About to set up shop in Clint in Clint's shop here. <laughs> Literally just moving in. Hey Clint, you want a roomie? Clint roommate mod when? All right, here we go. Can I even put the dresser down in here? I can. Right in front of the forge. Burn all my clothes away. All right. Um, Let's just grab everything now. Might, might as well at this point. Go to town. All right. Glass shards. That sounds like it would hurt, <laughs> but we'll, we'll tailor it. We'll make it. Ooh, that's a nice looking shirt. 
All right, this will make a nice mask. Gold on mask. Makes a skeleton shirt, don't need that. Rare disc. The tuxedo, I forgot about that, yo. It's a good shirt. Good shirt to have. Ew, don't know about that one. That's like the same thing from a different one that we made, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's a little cursed. Get out of here. Okay. Already did that. Harvey shirt. That's just a gray shirt right there. Helvite. This has got to make something good, right? Ooh, I do like that color. And Jasper. Not bad. Bandana shirt. Classy top. It's a soft velvet. Shirt, gray suit, cowboy poncho, a legendary outfit from the Old West. Wait, that's Prairie King. I didn't even realize. It's high noon. Or something like that. <laughs> it's diable, too. The golden mask moment. That's so scary, dude. That's so scary. We have so many different outfit options now, though. Officer uniform. Being like Jim Carrey in the mask out here. Alright, I can get rid of this. I can sell these to you. And do another round of tailoring here. Don't need to worry about actually any of this. All, all that is fine. Okay. All right, last bit of tailoring. The, ta the tailoring reward that we've earned by having done our due diligence with the artifact troves here. Show me the Neptunite. That's a nice shirt, actually. I like that one. Ocean Stone. Very glowy shirt. Ooh, suspenders. A little soapstone to rub off the stink. And a thunder egg. Nice purple. A gaudy shirt. It's a therapeutic blue dot dot dot. Why is it called the gaudy shirt? Oh, I understand now. Now that I see it on. <laughs> this is like this is like a midlife crisis shirt, dude. <laughs> oh no. Shirt. Ocean shirt. The shirt looks like underwater ripples. Kind of love that. And shirt. This one looks like it should have a, a special name. That <laughs> deep neck. It's a very deep V. Yeah. Gaudy yet therapeutic. Yeah, you know? Don't let me turn you away from it. Okay. I think we can officially be done here now. Be done at Clint's. Take everything else home. Yeah, well, you know, we'll, while we're here, let's just check. Have we, have we tailored all this stuff? Tailored clay... We haven't tailored stone. <laughs> Send it. Why not? What is that? It's just a boring shirt. I mean, it's stone, obviously. Done that. Haven't done that. Ew. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's an assault to my senses. Omni shirt. Omni shirt. It is, is literally just an... It is literally the Omni shirt. It's, it's speckled with rainbow flex. Trinket shirt. A shirt with large colored glass orbs attached to it. They're glass orbs? Oh no! That's so good. That's so good. Literally turn you into a Christmas tree. That's so funny. Homie shirt. Homie. Like the Omni shirt. That's just a good name for a shirt, yeah. Okay. Pick this up. Pick this up. And I'll be on my... Well, I guess I'll take the chest as well. <laughs> you don't need that. You don't get my chest for free, Clint. Alright. And we are... Out of here. Welcome back, Alice. We are officially done with artifact troves. And Omni Geodes and all that stuff. Now all that remains between us and a museum star drop. Amazingly enough, prehistoric scapula, prehistoric tibia. Both of which, I've been told, are available via Bone Nodes on Ginger Island. So there's there's definitely a method to the madness that we can invoke out there.
Only thing you've ever put down inside of Clint's is Geode Crushers. I put down Furnaces and stuff inside Clint's. Furnaces and Geode Crushers, but never... <laughs> I've never uh, been a seamstress at Clint's. That much I can say with a relatively high degree of confidence. Sell the... Pumpkin, I believe. Get that out of here. No need for it. And grab all my goodies. All right. Looking good. Looking so snazzy. Whew. All right. Step one of Museum Star Drop. Phase, phase one of the plan has been a resounding success, I would say. We can get to... We can go to Ginger Island now. I guess we go to Ginger Island and we bring... Bombs, right? Should I bring... I'm just going to bring regular bombs. Mega bombs are a little bit too chaotic for me. We bring bombs. We bring... I think... Yeah, I think I think this is... This is it. Will I bring bring the flute block with me to the to the island? I should have thought about that. I just put down the flute block in uh in the museum for funsies. Pickaxe only. This is very methodical. What's our mining XP look like? Ooh, we are a little a little touchy on mining XP. Okay. Closes at 6 p.m. I have some time. I could try and probably get there and get the flute block in time. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, I'm going to bring crab cake. Triple shot. I'm just thinking of the things I need for the island here. Well, I know which bone node the artifact is if I use bombs. I'll know generally if we if we pay close enough attention, but I could... I could just go pickaxe, and that might be the smarter play, honestly. I'll bring the bombs just in case, but but you might be right. This might be a precision task that we need to that we need to do. Oh wait, Willie is closed, isn't he? Or well, I don't know. With Ginger Island, maybe he's open later. Or maybe I can at least get in there later. Artifact spot. Tempting me. Not the not the type of bone I'm looking for today, but maybe it's a portent of good things to come here. Excuse me? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't I didn't expect to run into the parade on my way here. Alright, yeah, okay, I can't I can't take that. I do have island warp totems, I'm pretty sure though, so I think I can just use that. I feel like Willy should stay open later. Or, like after you unlock Ginger Islands, just just to give you the opportunity to head out there if you need to. But who am I to tell Willie how to run his business? I guess. What a weird collection of people. I didn't even comment on it, but <laughs> it was a bit of an eclectic sort, wasn't it? He does open earlier. I guess that's true. Yeah. He makes some kind of concession for us. Yeah, put that away. Island. I don't have an island warp totem, but I can craft one with the power of friendship. Dragon tooth, ginger, and five hardwood. Five hardwood, dragon tooth, and ginger. Easy. Let's get going, shall we? How many items are we missing for the museum? Two. We need the prehistoric scapula and the prehistoric tibia. And to that end, we're doing a little bit of Ginger Island bone node save scumming. I've never done this particular sort of thing before, but <laughs> it was a first time for everything, I guess. All right. What do I actually need tomorrow? I might as well clear up my inventory of everything else I don't need. Send this. Put this put all this away. I'll bring the hoe just in case there might be there might be artifact spots on the way. 
I'll bring the bombs. Okay. I think we're ready. How long have I been working on this goal? Not long, actually. It's, I mean, we got it earlier this stream, and we're, we're almost there. We actually we had most of the stuff donated already. It's just been, just been good luck that way. Axe because trees. Oh, good. Actually, yeah, trees are going to kind of get... In, well, I don't know how many trees will be in the way at the, at the dig site. I'll bring the axe just in case. We don't need that much inventory space anyway, so... One hour and seven minutes on the dot. Not a bad haul from some artifact troves. Pull for the number of attempts. I think I'm down for that. This definitely seems like a pullable occasion. Alright. How many resets for... Well, should it just for should it be just for one of them? I guess for 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 any for a bone. <laughs> I'll just say for a bone, because we could get either the tibia or the scapula, right? Zero, one, two, three, and we'll go from there if we need more resets than that. But I mean, you saw how that stonefish went at the start. We had we had a very similar vibe going to that stonefish pole at the start. So, so place place your bets carefully. How come I already had most donated? There there are no separate goals for like just donating things to the museum, and I had a lot of minerals and stuff donated just because I wanted to get the crystallarium that you get as a reward early on. And then other things I just sort of. Over time, managed to get a lot of the artifacts. Thank you, Linus. Yummy breakfast. And flower dance. Okay. Yeah, you know, after 27 years, 26 years of accumulating artifacts and minerals, I think it should probably be expected that you've, uh, you've gathered almost all of them. I'm glad that we're in a good spot for it. Depending on when you get this, uh... Oh, I should have brought my scythe! <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can go back for the scythe. I didn't, didn't even think about the... about the fiber that's gonna be there. I ate raw fish. It's called sushi, J. Pierce. It's called sushi. Sushi? It's called bone-in sushi. Basically bringing everything, everything except my hay. Sushi doesn't come to you in the mail. Maybe not to you. No rice. Sushi doesn't necessitate rice, does it? Sushi can just be the fish. Okay, let's clear, clean all this out. Get him out of here. Quick little living hat check. I feel like I should I should like clear this all out, like clear out all this fiber and then like save the day. Am I crazy for thinking that? <laughs> I probably also should have brought more triple shot espresso. Just raw fish is sashimi. Potato potato. Yeah, I feel like I should, I should, like, now that I've cleared out that fiber, I should just lock it in. Although, I, maybe I should check the bone nose anyway, just, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't unlock fast travel. Nah. Unlock the Parrot Express. Do I have enough walnuts for the Parrot Express? I've got 18 walnuts. Is that enough to unlock the Parrot Express? We can get rid of the trees. True, we can act. We can act. We actually probably should get rid of the trees. It's not a bad idea. We 
we need two extra gold walnuts for the for the Parrot Express. Gotcha. Got some generic rocks we can break so that more bone nodes spawn. I want to be careful about that, though, because I do need to, like, bone nodes give us a decent amount of mining experience, and I don't have, like, a ton of leeway with mining experience. There's there's a decent amount of space for bone nodes to spawn right here anyway, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and let it be. Ooh, snake skull. Certified Emily dance moment. Clear ginger. I think ginger resets daily, so clearing the ginger wouldn't wouldn't matter for us there. What about the daily screenshot? It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I th I'm pretty sure we've missed other daily screenshots for, with ginger island trips in the past, so <laughs> it's not a perfect system, unfortunately. Okay, I do still have some crab cakes here, so I can at least use that. All right. Dig site is set up. I think we lock it in. And now... The grind truly begins. It's raining, but it's a festival day! That's so rude. <laughs> they tell you you can't rain on a festival day, and then it comes down to this. What the heck? All right. 29% of chat believes that it will take one reset in order to get either of the bones we need. Either the, the scapula or the tibia. I regret to inform you. It's going to be a zero reset kind of day. I'm feeling, I'm feeling lucky. All right, we got a leg. That's not what we're looking for. Two legs. Two legs and a dream. Fossilized leg. These do not count. Lots of bone nodes still to check. Don't count us out just yet. Come on, come on. I believe. I, there's too many legs. Why, why, how many things with legs died around here? I need more things that don't have legs. I need things with scapulas, not legs. Okay. That is all bone nodes clear, unfortunately. I believe. So, rip. What creature has seven legs? I mean, they were scattered separately. They could be different legs, although they do look strangely similar. <laughs> I need an extra tibia for that. It's all right. It's all right. This is, you know, opt optimism or no, this is to be expected. At least one reset is to be expected, but no more than that. Seven one-legged creatures. To have you know three two-legged creatures and then and and then amputee or something like that. Septopus. <laughs> All right. Ibia is part of the leg. That's true. That's true. You know maybe we could haggle with Gunther a little bit. All right. So we don't head out. We have to sleep, right? We have to sleep in order for this to. In order for the RNG to actually change on this one. I, can't, I don't think we can just reset. I think we have to sleep to the next day. That's fine. Imagine if yesterday was the day. And we'll never know. <laughs> no sense thinking in the past. You can't change it. No, no sense stressing over it. Always forward, never back. We 
we have to go back on the 28th. True for like uh for for Junimo harvest. For for big cauliflower harvest. That's a good point. Alright, well, we got we got a time limit then. Hopefully the game's listening and just gives us gives us the bones we need, at least one of the bones we need before then. Yo, tibia! Alright, tibia acquired. Okay, so that that rock right there is the tibia. I should keep breaking these just to see if any of the other ones are the scapula. And then reset the day and break like this one specifically, right? So break all of them. And then come back and break the ones that I need here. Alright, so we keep checking for, for the scapula. But congratulations to the one reset believers, the 27% of you. That is officially a win. Prehistoric tibia has been found. 0.8% get. Never tell me the odds. Show me a scapula on the same day. You wouldn't dare. Prehistoric skull. Wrong type of bone. Prehistoric rib. We're, get, we're getting all the bones today. <laughs> Full bone sweep. It's a bone sweep. Just give me the scapula. Just give me the scapula and nobody has to get hurt. If I look really close, I think I see a scapula somewhere in there. No such luck. All right. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> That's kind of a crazy get. But we only need the tibia. So we reset. We break that one. And we move on with our lives. That's pretty good. Pretty happy with this outcome so far. And and really, how long could it take to get a scapula now? We're, we're only one bone away from actually completing our, our goal here. I'm actually going to save the crab cakes for, for future days here. We're only one bone away, a single scapula away from getting this museum star drop. How long could it realistically take? There's no shot. There's no shot it takes more than like... I, I, I placed good money on like two resets. Two, two resets seems reasonable to me. It, probably only even like one or zero, zero more resets at this point. Stop taunting the universe, but it's what I'm, I'm so good at it, though. All right, there's our tibia. Take that back, lock it in. We want we want to get the scapula before the 28th or on the 28th, so we can head back without without worry, and then just be be done with this. Have I gotten the walnuts above the tent? I'm not sure. <laughs> Golden Walnut grind is going to be a little bit is going to be a little bit wonky when we get down to that. I definitely don't do not know which ones I have and haven't gotten in all this time. Okay, I think I'm going to bring this the tibia with me for good luck. Maybe the tibia can call the scapula. What if it rains on the 28th? It's a good point. <laughs> It's, it's already rained so much in spring, it's probably rained out. It's fine. There's no, there's no shot, I, I believe. I can head back on the 27th and see. <laughs> we should check the TV. We do not have a TV on Ginger Island. We'd have, to, we'd have to go back to the mainland in order to check the TV and the forecast and everything. Unless, well, you can trade for a TV on Ginger Island here. Do we do we just happen to have the stuff we need for this? Tropical TV requires 30 tarot roots. Rip. Just buy a TV? I could go buy a TV at Robin's, that's true. But that's so far out of the way. I just want to get my scapula and be done with it. Or from the furniture catalog. Oh, you can get TVs out of the furniture catalog. I forgot about that. Alright, hold on. The polls have been doing us so well today. How many resets for a scapula? 
The Poles have been bestowing upon us all kinds of good luck. I have to keep up the tradition here. Zero, one, two, three. It couldn't possibly be more than three. I will take a hydration break. Thank you. Yo, we appreciate that optimism, chat. <laughs> it's bouncing back and forth between zero and two reset believers. But right now, 41% of chat believes in the zero reset lifestyle. You know, I'm going to leave the... I'm going to leave the... No, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Superstitions and all that. Here we go. Just one little scapula, or even a big scapula. I don't, I don't discriminate against scapulas around here. Scapulas of any size are welcome. I am willing and able to, to accept all scapulas into my life right now. It's okay, we still have, there's still lots, plenty of rocks, there's still plenty of bone nodes to check here. What if it's a historic scapula instead, instead of a prehistoric one? Hopefully Gunther won't be able to tell the difference. So many legs, dude. I don't need any more tibias or legs or any, any of this nonsense. Alright. It's okay. It's okay. We've been here before. We do the one reset, we, and we get the scapula next time. Run it back. Run it back. I'm not afraid. I ain't afraid of a little bone. You really think this bone is going to get the best of me? No shot, dude. No shot. Apologies to the zero, zero reset believers, but... But one reset believers, I got you. It's your time to shine. This is this is your day. Usually a zero believer, but now you're a two believer. It will keep up the pattern, technically, of the poles if we got two, because we we started it with zero with the stonefish, one with the tibia. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to sleep. I forgot to sleep. My bad. Okay. I'm gonna run back so that we don't accidentally chalk up a false reset. Oh wait, no, I should reset for the crab cakes, my bad. Alright, false reset. That was a false start. This one doesn't count. This one doesn't count. All right, my bad. That's my bad. Here we go. I am not afraid. Ham, I don't need your battery pack right now, honestly. It's honestly kind of harshing my vibe. But the energy! My energy! Alright, here we go. Scapula, it's your time to shine. This little scapula of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little scapula of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Not another tibia. <laughs> it's not what I need right now, man. Okay, well, our tibia luck is off the charts. How rare is the scapula? Can I get a rarity check? Is it 0 0.8 like the, uh, ooh, amphibian fossil, like the tibia was as well? Or, or are we working with different odds here? 0.8% for both. For tailoring. I feel like all the bone stuff tailors into the same thing. It just makes the makes the skeleton shirt. I could be wrong about that. But I feel I feel correct about that.
Yo, Ava, thank you for the 119.99 PLN, by the way. Glad you were able to make it in. It's been an exciting stream. Oh, Tibia makes a hat. <laughs> Tibia makes the bone bow. You're right, you're right. Thank you for the generosity, by the way, Aga. I appreciate I appreciate the support greatly. That's amazing to see. It's it's always so I always feel so humbled and flattered on the on the big donations like that. I greatly appreciate it. It really helps. It really does. Thank you, thank you. Boop. All right. We can go get that tibia then. If I remember which rock it was. <laughs> and then we can go, uh, and then we can go reset. It was like, like, yeah, like the very, like, northwestern most rock, I think. And go home for the Junimos. We should probably go home today, yeah, just in, just in case it's raining tomorrow. We can go home today and we can check in on that. I think we should probably do that. Is it, was it this very top one? Was it this very top one? This extra ta tibia is for tailoring. Or was it, was it elsewhere? I'm going to just try. It is the very top one. Perfect. All right. We got it. Got to trust your gut. run it back home and then we'll take care of business there probably spend probably spend a few days at home just so we can you know sort out the summer crops and everything and then we'll come back to do that to doing this bone grind what song is this it is from celeste that is correct it is called awake it is called awake from the celeste soundtrack It's raining today, so Junimo harvest today is off the table. So hopefully tomorrow is uh, hopefully tomorrow the forecast is a little better. We we'll also have to pop a, a sun totem, if only such a thing existed. Hunt artifact spots just in case. Yeah, why not? You never know. Where, so where can this? I'm gonna I'm gonna wiki this just so I'm. Absolutely 100% on this because the wiki the wiki is never wrong. Scapula, prehistoric scapula. I didn't want to type all that. Digging up an artifact spot in Cinder Sap Forest or Pelican Town. Mining bone nodes on Ginger Island dropped by skeletons in the mines. Okay, so in town or in the Cinder Sap Forest are where the scapula resides. Look now the for these artifact spots three. Where the artifact where the scapula you seek lays. Teehee. I don't know. I was just, I, don't know, I don't know where that came from, but Yo, thank you, Pam. Sorry I threw away your battery pack earlier. Okay. Pop those away. Put this away. I guess I could have gone and donated the tibia while I was down there, but it's fine. That. Um, I guess I, now I'm out here, I can actually just eat the crab cakes. If I'm going to be running around doing artifact spot checks anyway. Don't want these either, just because it's, it's spooking me. Easy bone. Ooh, pardon me. Easy bone hat. Our Flintstones cosplay is, is coming along nicely. I feel like there's a Flintstones character that looks kind of like Beatrix, isn't there? Like Betty? We do have the shirt, that's true. We have the power. We have so many different options now. We're definitely going to have to do some, some accessorizing for a new outfit in the near future here. Not right now. We're on the cusp of, of too much greatness to, to worry about that. All right, let's check the forecast. 
That's not the forecast. That's good to know, though. Nice sunny day tomorrow. All right, perfect. Perfect. I knew it was it was raining so much all spring long. I knew it was going to be rained out by the end of it. I just had a hunch, you know. Three to six percent chance in the forest. That is, it is a lot higher than bone nodes. The uh, upshoot of that is that obviously artifact spots are a lot rarer than bone nodes are, but still worth looking. Absolutely. You can change the color of your house. It's not something the game ever readily tells you, and it's just one of those options you have to kind of, like, notice at Robin's place when you're going to, like, build stuff, but... But it is there. Alright. Artifact spots. Nothing spotted up here. I think the only other spots you can really get them are, like, around the river here. Maybe down here as well. A lot of spring onions, but not a not a lick of artifacts. Turn on harvesting for the Junimos tonight. Good thinking. They can get started nice and bright and early tomorrow. Waste no time. We 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 do optimum play style here on the Argon Matrix channel. Nothing but the best. Nothing but absolute optimum playthroughs. As you can clearly tell. Chat, whenever, whenever I've ever done anything suboptimally, whenever I've ever, like, you know, gone out of my way to be, like, goofy or silly or anything like that, no, we don't do that here. This is a no-nonsense kind of challenge run. Fun maxing? Never heard of it. Min maxing all the way. Well, it depends on the mood, honestly. <laughs> depends on my mood that day. I ate the lava eel? That was a different me. I'm sure that won't get annoying at all. Ooh, new reward. The sloth skeleton, it's almost complete! We can almost make- we can almost go full sloth mode. Yo, hold on, artifact spot. This could be our moment. Yeah. Nope. Gadzooks, foiled by the mixed seeds again! Ooh, another chance though. We would hope after all the artifact spots that we've that we've popped open that we would have hit that three to six percent chance eventually, but no dice. No dice. Wouldn't it be easier to manipulate it instead of going for bone nodes? I think it would probably take roughly the same amount of time either way. There's merit to doing both ways, but... Oh, it's 0.7% in town? Oh, so it's even worse than bone nodes. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Never mind, that is that is a... It's a heck of a lottery. Alright. And drop all these goodies off. We'll go. We'll go tell our Junimos to start harvesting. We can actually. We can do another. Uh, another check for giant cauliflower here as well. We could have gotten a second giant cauliflower. There's always a chance. Put that. Put that floor back where it belongs. Excuse you. So rude. Oh, what the heck? I see it already. Oh my gosh. Two giant cauliflowers? We can't have two giant cauliflower. Chad, that's just greedy. That's so greedy. I can't. I can't keep both of them.
they do look glorious. We we're gonna have to pick one to keep though. We we have to we have to pick our favorite, and then eat the other one so we have room for more giant crops of the other varietals. Keep the first one. I'm kind of inclined to keep the first one myself. Yeah. It just uh, it would feel wrong to to eat the to eat the first one, and I'm not like super particular about exactly where it is, so I think that's probably our play. All right. Technically, a chance for a third one here as well. <laughs> Wouldn't that uh, the hat trick of giant cauliflower? If we got three giant cauliflowers in one season, I feel like I would have to keep all three. Like, what are the odds on that? Come on. They should be called Colleen and Fleur. <laughs> Those are great names, honestly. Great names for some giant collies. These floor, the lightning strikes have been just so rambunctious lately. All right, only two giant cauliflowers. This Junimo is so stunlocked by the giant cauliflower. He's he's never seen something. He, he's he's tried. What if do you think he's trying to lift it? And he's just so confused. He's like, wait, this it looks like a cauliflower. It's a little bigger than the rest. Why can't I pick it up? Why can't I pick it up? It would be amazing to see a Junimo harvest a giant cauliflower. He's so... He's, like, traumatized, dude. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll leave you guys to it. I'm gonna go do a... An artifact spot check. And we'll come back and, uh... Deal with that. Something else the golden clock should do, prevent destruction via lightning. That would be nice, yeah, but it is, it is a good incentive to place down more lightning rods, which is what they're there for in the first place, right? So. Um, just grab these. Make, make a nice quick round of it. But 10 million G. I mean, I think 10 million G to prevent the spreading of debris like it already does is... You know, when I think about it and how much 10 million gold actually is, it's probably not worth it. <laughs> Maybe it could use an extra bit of a buff like that. But I don't know. I'm a traditionalist to an extent. <laughs> Alright, artifact spot in the forest would go crazy right now. We haven't seen a single one in the forest so far in all our checks, I don't think, so... They are rare. They're pretty rare in the forest, from my recollection. Willie opens at 8 a.m., I believe. radish sitting next to each other. Double spring onion. The spring onions do be do be clustering. It would be pretty incredible to get <laughs> to get the scapula off the 0.7% artifact spot chance here. It's like I always say there is there's always a chance. There's always a chance. Never count me out until I've cleared every spot. Only ones you find in the forest or along the path from town, past Marnie's into the farm. I feel like that's the only spot that I see them too, yeah. They probably can appear even, like, fleetingly in other places. It's just that... Those, those areas are like the largest concentrated sections of soil where they can appear, so that's where they're most commonly seen. 
How we doing down here, little Junimo friends? They've cleared out everything. They've done it. All right. I apologize to you, my giant cauliflower friend. O7's in chat. I think we get rid of this one. It's blocking the chest and everything. It's just an inopportune position. But I respect. I respect your. I respect your attempt. Thank you for blessing our farm for even a little while here. Oh my god. <laughs> so many cauliflowers. Oh boy. I love it. I love it. 16 cauliflowers for the price of nine, basically. Murder? No, no. I mean the call she's I mean she's still here with us. She's just now in uh in 16 separate pieces. <laughs> That's not murder. She's st she's still alive and well. She's just more bountiful now. I guess I should have just done, like, one of these. Golden Ho Prowess. Not that I even really need to, I guess. Alright. I think we're good. The music says murder. The mu Pay no mind to the music. The music does what it wants. Would have been a great time for B underscore boss dot OGG. For such, like, an aggressive song. Dismemberment isn't murder, it's partitioning. Thank you! Someone finally gets it. Alright, I think we're good to lock it in here, right? Lock in the season, we'll, we'll plant our melons, get that all set up for the next season here, and then uh, back to Ginger Island with us. And we get a full season, if we need it, of, of resetting for Scapula. Summer hath arrived. I feel so slow without my without my speed buffs these days. I've been running around so much with the crab cakes now, I feel like I'm just I just need them all the time. Fertilizer fertilizers on melons for summer crop ups the chances of good gifts for Penny when the time is right to make friends with her. Good thinking actually, yeah. Do I have access to Good quality fertilizer. I can, I can buy quality fertilizer from Pierre, right? Need 127 seeds. So we had 136 with the with the meteorite development. And now we have nine missing with the presence of the giant cauliflower here. Colleen. So I think that's right, yeah, 127. Good quick maths. Thank you, Laisha. Outfit change for summer. I think we'll do an outfit change next stream. But we're too deep in right now. We're too we're too deep into the scapula hunt to derail it too much here. Just because of the season to change, I'm derailing it for 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 the moment, but. But we're so close. We're so close. I just, I don't, I don't, I'd, I'd hate to leave it on a cliffhanger for, like, the entire weekend. Who knows when we get back to the randomizer, and, and I don't want to, I don't want to do that to you, or to me. Only need to fertilize the middle spot. Well, if we want for if we want high quality melons, we want to fertilize as many of them as possible. Anyone remember the days when sh when the hoe broke sprinklers? I do remember that. It was a it was a very different time to be playing Stardew Valley back then. So many quality of life upgrades since that time. We call those the Dark Ages. Can't even explain how happy you are to share your name with a giant vegetable. It's such a good name, too. 
it's a perfect name for, <laughs> for this giant cauliflower and just a great name in general. All right, if we're gonna if we're gonna be going for giant melon strats, we should also take the time to water everything, I guess. Just so they're all we don't always take the time to water all of it, but in this case, I think we can make an exception because it would be it's important for them to stay in sync with each other. We have as many opportunities as possible. Do I have melon seeds? I do not spy any melon seeds here. Just a, just a direct, just a regular old melon. All right, off we go. In the dark ages when argon was chlorine. Chlorine matrix doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? For a second, I thought that I had my had my mouse here, and I looked at Pierre's face, and I saw that he had, I thought he had like a goatee for a second. <laughs> I was like, man, you know, he's trying out something new. I gotta respect it. All right, 127 melon seeds. Easy. Do you have higher quality fertilizer? You do have quality fertilizer. We're gonna go. Oh, we do have melon seeds at the museum as well. I should have thought about that. That's fine. It's fine. All right, we we got the money to burn. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> oh no! Now I only have eleven point two million gold. No! No! Pierre from the alternate universe, and everyone loves him. Pierre with a P Pierre, as he is in the Stardew General store, I sleep. Pierre with a goatee. Got my attention. Ra raise his eyebrow. Raise his eyebrow quizzically. We have two available spots where a giant melon could come to pass here. Let me make sure I do this before I forget. Well, I guess there are technically more than two spots, because there's like this spot here. There's like two instances of a spot there where giant melons come to pass, and then, the, and then there's this spot right here. So technically three chances, although I don't know if those overlapping ones, I don't know how the RNG works for that. All right. Did I did, did I miscount or did, did I did I miss a spot here somewhere? I'm missing a melon spot. Right up there. I see it. I see it. Okay. Perfect. We got it. Right by the snowman. Now, hopefully I don't miss any spots with the fertilizer cuz it's going to be a lot harder to see. Seeing this like light yellow on on light brown. <laughs> Colorblind users be wary. So I'm not colorblind, and even I have a hard time telling it apart sometimes, so hopefully we just get this right on the first go here. Yo, Leap, welcome on in. Good to see you. You're here for a very impactful goal. It's, our, it's only our second star drop goal of the entire randomizer, and of course it's the museum. We're, we're having a grand old time getting it. We are, we are one artifact away from getting from completing the museum. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful time to be here. Okay, that's all fertilized. Now let's do the watering. Do the darn watering. Just so we have all our cards on the table and we know everything that we like have available to us, what are the chances for a skeleton to drop a, a scapula? Because we could go that route as well, and if it's a high enough chance, then maybe it's a it's a reasonable way to go. But I feel like a, a skeleton dropping a scapula is not that great of a chance. 
0.5%, so it's even it's even worse odds than our bone nodes, okay. Not the way to go then, especially because we don't have so little leeway with uh with combat experience as it is. Yeah, let's let's don't need don't need to entertain that possibility. Alright, it's good good to know though. Did I get everything behind the huts here? I did, I did. It's been a while since I've done much in the way of just, you know, watering. <laughs> just out here watering, tending to the fields like it's, a, like it's an average day in Stardew Valley. But we all know, this, this farm is anything but average these days. What's the worst thing to get for the museum, generally speaking? There's a few, there's a few artifacts that are just kind of like a pain to get for the museum. Especially prior to the advent of artifact troves, I do think uh, adding artifact troves to the game made things significantly easier for the museum because a lot of the artifacts that were like specifically like, oh, you only have like a 3% chance to get this from an artifact spot in Pelican Town. Now you can get them from artifact troves instead. So I do think, honestly, like the worst ones to get are, st are the... Uh like, all the bone ones that aren't available in artifact troves, like the scapula, like the tibia. I mean, the tibia is actually not that bad these days because you can kill pepper rexes and they have a pretty high drop rate of it, I'm pretty sure. Dinosaur egg used to be a nightmare. Dinosaur egg's not bad at all anymore with the... Now that, now that pepper rexes are a thing and they drop dinosaur eggs, like pepper, rec, pepper rexes, artifact troves... These are, these are great advents for museum technology, for sure. Have a good one there, Jerry. Enjoy sledding with the kids. That's going to be a fun time, I'm sure. Hopefully you got lots of snow. Yeah, Pepper Rex drop rate goes, like, kind of crazy. <laughs> Especially with the burglar's ring, yeah. Elvis Jewelry was the last one needed for perfection. Took over a year. That sounds about right. Are there any, um... Are there any artifacts anymore that are only available from fishing treasure chests? I don't think so, right? I think all those can be gotten either from artifact troves or elsewise. Okay. I think I, we should go to sleep on Ginger Island. Realistically here. Willie just closed, so we can't can't go that way. We should, I should go to Ginger Island and uh, and get ready for the, the scapula reset here. I'm, w I'm willing to commit another Dragon Tooth to it. It does bring us below the 10 we need for the Island Obelisk, but like, what are the odds we even roll the Island Obelisk anytime soon? No shot, right? We'll, we'll get another Dragon Tooth before then. It's fine. I ain't sweating it. All right. Did we do an artifact spot check? I don't think we did today, actually. I think we just went and did the uh, and planted our seeds. I'm gonna go check the. I'm just gonna check the forest. I don't think it's worth checking all all throughout town. Famous last words. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? We've all we've already gotten two of the obelisks, which means that the odd, odds of getting another obelisk are dramatically reduced. That's just, that's just math. That's just pure math. No need to peer review that one. It's, you, you can trust me. You can trust me. Show me an artifact, please. And the forest really is not kind with the artifact spots, huh? <laughs> Yeah, what can you expect? Math has lied before. Name one time when math has ever, you know, not been on our side when it hasn't worked out exactly how we want it to for us. Name one time, I'll wait.
What are you saying dot 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 for? Gold clock? Gold clock was fate. That was meant to happen early in the challenge because it makes things so much more interesting. That's not math lying to us. That's math giving us a boon that we just didn't appreciate at the time. But in retrospect, it, it's, it's the best thing that could have happened. Go to sleep for the night. I think we're good here, right? Just lock it in. Okay. We're currently on two resets, I believe. I believe this is two or two resets deep into our grind here. Not, it's not going to go four resets, though. It's not even going to th gonna go three resets, actually. Fishing in one day. All right, you got me there. <laughs> Math was a little bit rude in the on during the Master Angler Challenge at times. But I don't hold that against it. it. Those were just such astronomical odds to be fighting against. Math can only get you so far. All right, here we go. Scapula incoming, no problem. Sometimes all you need to do is take a little break from the grind, and then you come back to it feeling nice and refreshed, and the, the game rewards you in kind. This is definitely one of those times. Oh my goodness. It's a good little spot right there. Another tibia. <laughs> For those counting at home, that's three tibias to zero scapulas. The pre prehistoric vertebra. Okay. More like a vertebra. Know what I mean? Whose hand is that, dude? We've got. I think we've gotten every single type of bone so far on one of these days, except for the scapula now. <laughs> Sometimes it breaks your will to continue. It's got to go for quite a long time for it to break my will to continue. I've, I've plotted through worse RNG than this. And I'll plod through worse RNG yet to come, I'm sure. <laughs> Was there another one that I missed? All right. Hold on, I gotta get my windows set up here properly. Acquire the museum star drop. Museum Vrak Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker looking like a diamond in the rough. This upcoming prehistoric scapula is for you. All right, we are currently on three resets. This one's for the three reset believers playing the long con. I question why you weren't optimistic at the start, but you know, maybe you maybe you had information that I didn't. Maybe you were privy to something that I did not know. You didn't mean my will as in as, as in my will. You meant the general, like, normal player's will. No, I, I don't claim to have a superhuman will. I, I think my patience is, I mean, I've been told my patience is above, is above that of the average person. And anecdotal evidence would probably suggest that, but I, I don't, I don't feel, I'm too humble. I'm too humble to claim that. I feel like I have a, a perfectly adequate amount of patience for me. Geode farming to 10 million did try my patience. I would have geode farmed to 10 million if it wasn't on stream. I feel I feel like I definitely would have would have undergone that if you know if my schedule. It was more open and it wasn't uh, for like the entertainment of other people to watch. I I would have gone. I would have gone all the way. But sometimes you got to make a sacrifice for the sake of entertainment. You know, eight hundred hours of geode farming. <laughs> I mean, if I do it for one hour, then it's only seven hundred ninety nine hours of geode farming, and you just keep doing that until you get to zero, right?
All right. So it turns out for this for the current poll that is active, everyone has lost. It was not zero. It was not anywhere between zero and three resets. So we run back this poll. I, I refund your bets. Thank you for participating. We go again. What was the 800 hours going to be for? I don't know if it actually would have been 800 hours, but that is a that is a pretty gargantuan number. I wouldn't be surprised. I think that's how long it would take to farm all the geodes you would need to like geode farm up to 10 million gold, probably. Crystallarium should be less than a tenth of the time. Smart play, <laughs> Alexion. This is this is this is a why I will never be up to your level. Because I would have just stuck with the geode farming because it's the simple answer, even if it's the one that would take like ten times longer. All right, how many resets for Scapula? We're gonna go, we're just gonna keep going. Four, five, six, or seven resets. We're currently on, this is, this is, we're on reset four right now. So four is the new zero, you heard it here first. Based on Stardew luck, it'll be four. Did I sleep to the next day already? I don't think I have. I think I need to sleep another day here. I think I don't, I don't I think I need to sleep. Yeah. Four is your lucky number. Turn. I've I've learned through the randomizer that Stardew doesn't care about your lucky number. It can be lucky in every other context, but like for me, 18 was my lucky number. And what the heck was goal number 18? We don't talk about goal number 18. It, ru it ruined the number 18 for me. Not really, but. <laughs> All right, scapula incoming. I hope I don't, I hope I don't ruin the number four for you here, Palinar. It's your lucky number, but it's not mine necessarily, so. So don't, don't let this be a an indication if we don't get it here. 35% of chat believes in six reset meta. Chalk me up as a five reset believer. Do I not see the spot? What, the artifact spot? I've already checked it. I know what's in there. I don't need it. Plus, I, I'm, reset, I'm resetting anyway, so I'm not going to get it. It's Omnigeode. All right. We go again. We go again until we get it right. Go again. What's that, Beatrix? What's that? You're tired? You don't want to mine bone nodes anymore? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We go again. We go until you get the scapula. You don't want to drink coffee and eat crab cakes for the rest of your life? It's okay. Just get the scapula today. It's all good. It's all good. No, it's okay. Beatrix is fine with this. She, I mean, she's... She's just as fine with this as I am. She's made she's made of sterner stuff than the rest of us. Dare I say, Beatrix is built different. Ooh, lucky lucky emerald. I'll take a lucky emerald. Alright. We're on five resets. I always get a little excited when I see the, the prehistoric vertebra. Because it looks vaguely like a scapula if you're not if you're not paying too close of attention to the game. <laughs> a 
Come on, man. Come on, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of these tibias. What's that? That's four tibias to zero scapulas. The, the curse of the tibia. It's coming back in full force here. Can get some tibia emojis in chat? Tibia emojis? Maybe that way we'll use up all the tibias in chat and there won't be any left to spawn here. It's literally the perfect emoji for the tibia. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> it's so good. Just the regular bone emoji. All right. This is the most popular choice right here. Six resets is what we're on right now, I believe. We are officially on six resets. Yo, it lined up perfectly. We can tr we can track the number of resets based on what day of the of the season we're in. Six resets. I scap you can't believe it. <laughs> scap scap you look can't believe scap you land believe it. Welcome on in, Wickedy. Welcome on in. I, I missed your unique brand of humor. Appreciate I appreciate you. This is with that pun on our side. The scapula has to show up now. Now that Wickedy's here, we can't we can't make make the people wait any longer. Scapula incoming. You voted six. 34% of chat has voted for six. It's not looking great for you six believers right now, unfortunately, but you know, it only takes one bone node. That's the thing you gotta remember. It always only takes one bone nodule. Amphibian fossil. Get the heck out of here with that. The sigh. All right. Ever, everyone's in chat chanting, you know, six believers, six. This is the one, six. Here it comes. Seven believers allow us to introduce ourselves. I wasn't a seven believer, but I know you're out there. You're out there somewhere. Your pun scared, scared the bones away. Don't take it personal. All right, here we go. Here we go. Each day we start with bombs. I didn't bring the bombs, though. <laughs> I don't have the bombs today. All right, 24% of seven of seven reset believers, or 24% of chat is seven reset believers, I guess I should say, should say. Seven believers, make yourself known. Lucky number seven, is it lucky for a reason? We're about to find out here. I think we do have cherry bombs in the fridge, but I'm kind of I'm kind of in a rhythm now. I'm kind of in a rhythm. I feel like bombs would throw off my rhythm. Sevens. <laughs> it's the lurker number. This this one's for the lurkers. Get sevens in chat for my lurkers. Put a seven in chat if you're a lurker and you have a scapula. This one's for you. Are the lurkers the one to bring it ones to bring us home today? Are they gonna bring me the good luck that we need? Lots of lurkers in chat. I'm seeing it scroll by. There's a skeletal hand. The skeletal hand of the lurkers as they wait for the that's that's what that's what your hand's gonna look like after we finally get the scapula. <laughs> it's only been seven resets, it's not that bad. Many, many lurkers. Holy, thank you, lurkers. 
Lifeblood and Backbone to the stream. You the best. The amphibian fossil. Not again. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, seven is only a lucky number when it pertains to lurkers. It is not a lucky number for the scapula. It's all right. We run it back. We run it back. We just keep going. There's, this is the optimal strategy. Believe it or not, this is what peak gameplay looks like in Stardew Valley. Playtime is currently up to 249 hours and 49 minutes, for those who are curious. <laughs> All right, I will sleep, and then I'll set up a new poll here. Scapula was letting the lurkers have their time to shine. So thoughtful, so thoughtful of that scapula to not steal the thunder of the lurkers. Here we go. Start me up. A new poll. How many resets for scapula? We're looking at eight, nine, 10, we're, go we're getting into, we can't possibly get into double digits on the reset. There's no shot, right? 8, 9, 10, or 11. Put your money where your mouth is, pal. Leap a lot's feeling 12. That's a, bo that's a bold proclamation. We got a long way to go to see if it's going to be 12, but, uh, you know, you got to go with your gut, and I respect it. Speaking of gut, let's dump some espresso into that gut. The classic espresso crab cake combo for breakfast. And we go again. One singular bony boy standing between us and a museum star drop. It's hard to believe that we're here. This is ultimately what, it bo what the museum star drop boils down to for like a lot of people. Honestly, maybe not necessarily bone nodes, but uh, but one artifact in particular gets in the way, and it's it becomes the bane of your existence. You know the issue is that someone told me the odds. That is true, I did say to never tell me the odds. But I know the odds are, what, 0.8%? It's on me. I shouldn't have listened to the odds. Now it's getting in my head. Like 0.8%. It should be. It's only, you know, it's slightly less than 1 in 100. We've definitely broken more than 100 bone nodes, I would say. Someone is really bored one day. They can go back and do the math and see how many bone nodes we actually break before we get the scapula. <laughs> See exactly where our luck lies. All right. The eight reset dream has died. Odds are you'll get it eventually. <laughs> Smash cut to year 30. We're still here. How long can I stream? I do have to work today. I have to work in like an hour 40, so uh, I've got time, but you know, not all the time. Not all the time in the world. Alright. Nine. What can you say about nine? Nine is a beautiful number. It's like the edge of the cliff right before you dive into the world of double digits. It's a, it's a threshold number. It's a perfect uh, square. Three squared. It's it's just a nice number all 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 around. It's got like fun multiplications to it. You know, 9, 18, 27. It's got a nice pattern that goes into it. It's so good. I didn't sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. Oop. Good catch, good catch. Alright. That doesn't count as a reset, that's a false start. If you want, you can count false starts. That's that's the second false start of this grind. Haven't heard this much copium in a long time. Saya, it's not copium. 
It's not copium. We're trying to, you know, massage the RNG. We're trying to persuade the RNG in our favor. And if this doesn't work, if, you know, if complimenting the number 9 and his, and his great niceness doesn't work for us, then we can resort to, like, intimidating the number 10 instead. <laughs> but I have a feeling that 9 is going to do us right here. 9 or nothing. Little palm fossil. Palm fossil's a new one. I don't think we've gotten that one yet. Not the, not the new one that we want, necessarily, but there it is. RNG is an indifferent god. Oh! Number nine! It's number nine, baby! <laughs> Spam it! I was here! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point! The scapula has arrived! The final artifact for the museum! And it only took nine resets. Holy... We lo you love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> oh my gosh. End the poll before any fake nine believers can can vote. Nine resets. Not that bad. All things considered, nine resets of the of the dig site here. Pretty a pretty acceptable amount. Not even not even 10. Like, we've had far worse grinds than this. It took us longer than this to get freaking hash browns at Gus's at Gus saloon. Oh, just to put things in perspective a little bit. Alright. Is there a reason to reset the day here? And, like, just come and get this specific bone node? It would save us some mining experience, but, like... Who cares, really? You voted 11 knowing you were counting the false resets, of course. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, no, I don't think there's a reason to, to reset here. I think we just take our take our scapula and run with it. Grab some Omni Geodes as a victory lap. Took like 200 nodes. Back a little back of the napkin math for 200 nodes. Not bad, honestly. If it's a, if it truly is a 0.8% chance, 200 nodes is is relatively acceptable RNG, I would say. Okay, let's pop away the stuff I do not currently need, and I'll check the mail just to clear all this out of here. 500 gold, thank you. And a little bream to snack on. All right, let me grab all the goodies I need here. Take my hay back. Take, what else do I need to take back? Obviously prehistoric scapula, most important thing here. I'll put it over there in a spot of prestige eosity. Um, I can bring back with me, bring back this hardwood. I'll bring back this I don't know, there's not that much of interest here, honestly. I'll bring back this, I'll bring back... Wasn't there bone fragments here? Bone fragments. And I'll bring back... I'll bring back sexy. I'm bringing sexy back. I'm gonna bring back this fiber. Alright. Let's go. Let's go finish this, shall we? Lord the scapula above our head as the prized possession that it is. Looking like a big elephant's ear. Just eating the fish whole like that? Why not? <laughs> Why the heck not? Watch me accidentally give this as like a present to somebody on the way over. Just accidentally bump into Haley, throw a scapula in her face. Looking like a scapula in the rough. Absolutely. Alright. <laughs> oh, flute block? Flute block was silenced. Flute block knows to Okay, never mind. I thought I thought we were gonna have a quiet moment here. Scapula? 
Beautiful. New achievement, a complete collection. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. No, leave the emerald there. Come on now. Come on now. Collect rewards. It's only one reward that I want to see here. Star drop. So rare. So precious. I've only, I don't have the inventory space to take the sloth, dude. <laughs> take it. Well-deserved star drop. Well done, Beatrix. Well done, chat, for steering me in the right direction. This was a combined effort, a concerted effort on all of our parts. Your mind is filled with thoughts of honeycombs. Get some bee emojis in chat. The, bee, the bees never leave us. Even if bee underscore boss dot OGG is not playing, they're still with us. <laughs> I'm gonna go check what that hat is. I don't know what the hat you get for a full collection is, but I, it's gotta be a good one, surely. And the cruelest irony of all, bees don't even have bones. They just got exoskeletons. Which I guess is close enough, but... <laughs> Bees bringing us their valuable honeycombs. We appreciate it. Hey there, bird boy. What do we got here? Cowboy hat? The leather is old and cracked, but surprisingly supple. It smells... musty. I'll take a little musty cowboy hat. My Journey of the Prairie King cosplay is almost complete. Yo, I could dress up as, like, the... as the Prairie King when we go to do Fector's Challenge eventually. yippee ki -yay. Archaeolo Archaeologist helmet would be appropriate. I think this is pretty... <laughs> this is pretty close to being as good as it gets that way. There's a snake in my boot. All right, I'm going to run back home. I'm going to drop off all my stuff. Then I'm going to go back to the museum because I I, I still want to relish in the victory a little bit longer. What are all of you doing? What is happening here? They're all <laughs> they're all congregating around this stone cairn. These blue chickens know something that I don't. I'm a, I, I, it's called to the Lambda is infecting the minds of the masses. I'm a little scared. They're just hanging out. Am I being a hater or are they just vibing? Maybe they're just vibing. Bolt of the cairn. All right, hat, cowboy hat goes away in there. Grab all our goodies here, get things sorted out. Turn that back on. Posterity's sake. Make sure I go fill up the silos. We've been away for a good few days. We, the silo is probably starting to run low. 640 pieces. Yeah, that sounds about right. Didn't run out, at least. It didn't run out. All right, I'm going to run quickly back to the museum. Grab ourselves a sloth skeleton, now that we have the, the full collection. And then we can roll a new goal after that. Where should I put the sloth skeleton? I always am like inclined to just leave it in the museum. But we could, we could take it home with us if we wanted to. Behind the bus? <laughs> that could be kind of fun. When the bus, like, leaves, you see just this big old sloth skeleton standing there. Decorate the mines for homie. It's been a while since we've, since we dropped the decoration at the mines, that's true. We've dropped a few things here for homie. Homie, would you like a, a sloth skeleton to adorn your adorn your presence? I'll leave it on the far side just so you, have, so you have some extra room. Oh, it looks so good. It's so nice to see it complete. I always hate having to like put down just like one or two pieces, and it looks like so like silly. Seeing the full thing complete there is is great. Giant cave sloth. How do you feel about that? They're just dreaming about cave carrot stew. I respect it. When you're when you're hungry, sometimes you can't pay attention to anything else. <laughs> A homie for my homie. All my homies know the giant sloth is is a homie to me. 
All right, quick stretch. Ooh. Quick hydration break. And then, quick new goal, hopefully. What's our max energy up to now, these days, anyway? 338. Not that we're ever going to run out of energy ever again, but <laughs> it's nice to have it. Nice to have that star drop under our belt. All right, randomizer. We meet again. I appreciated that one. That was that was a nice, good challenge. That took that took a little while. It took a little thinking. Took a little extra strategizing, beyond the norm. You know, keep keep up more unique goals like that, and we can go a long way together, you and me. Thirty-seven point six percent done. Not bad. And now the randomizer is gonna go. It's gonna go on a roll. Watch this. It's gonna. It's gonna show us like another unique, fun, interesting goal that we can look forward to next time. What the heck? We can craft a chest. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I never thought the day would come. We're free. We're free from the tyranny of the night market. And it's limited chest offerings. <laughs> oh, you've just, you don't know what you've just unleashed, you silly randomizer. You don't know what kind of power I have now. Infinite chests. We're going infinite, friends. Chest, not even a stone chest, just your everyday garden variety chest. Number 212. Let's go do it. I'm ready. I'm so ready for this. I was thinking, you know, time is running short for me. <laughs> so I was like, I got to end the stream relatively soon. So I was like, whatever this goal is, I'm going to just, you know, it's going to have to be where we pick up next time. But I can't possibly leave it at that. We got to go craft our very first chest. Come on. What a lovely reward. If the star drop itself wasn't reward enough for completing that goal, the chest is just a nice victory lap. Yeah, we, ha we have a little bit of wood. I think we can probably sacrifice some for a chest here. <laughs> Normally, the very first thing, or at least among the very first things, that every Stardew Valley player crafts in their game the humble chest, a place to store your items. Finally, 26 and a half years later, we get our very first personally crafted chest. That feels good. Number crafted, one. Oh my gosh, we will never want for anything ever again. I'm going to put away this chest in the chest because <laughs> I don't have a use for it right now. I don't have a use for that one right now, but you know, now, now that I have that opportunity, I don't need to be so frugal with my chests anymore, I guess. 27 years after I got the recipe, true enough. <laughs> oh, that felt good. That is cathartic, dude. And now we don't have to worry about the potential for the ch crafting a chest being the final goal of the entire randomizer. That that possibility is officially off the table. It could be the stone chest, but that wouldn't have the same oomph to it, you know? Go get a new goal. When's the next Stardew Expanded stream? Probably next week sometime. I haven't made the stream schedule yet, but we'll, uh, it shouldn't be too long before the next one. Can't let the hoarding get out of control. I know, even we, even though we technically have, you know, infinite options for storage now that we have access to chests, you gotta, you know, can't let that power go to our heads here. We've, we've operated without the ability to craft chests for a very long time so far. I don't think this should change that much in the way we operate, but it is nice to, you know, have that boon. Finish it. 37.8%. 
I think no matter, I think I truly do. This is me telling you right now, no matter what this next goal is, it's probably going to have to wait for next stream because I do have to go and get ready for work and all that stuff. So what do we have to look forward to next week? What is going to be the introductory goal that sets the tone for the entire rest of the randomizer stream next week? Drum roll, please. Hook a radish salad. <laughs> That's so lame, dude. That's so lame. Can I really leave it on cook a radish salad? It's so anticlimactic. Radish salad. Nice palate cleanser. All right, you know what? A cooking goal. A cooking goal is a quick one. A cooking goal is a quick one. Assuming we have everything we need for the radish salad. If not, hold on. What do, what do I need for a radish salad? What do I need? I know what I just said. All right. Oil, vinegar, radish. I have the oil. I definitely have the radish. I don't think I have the vinegar probably, right? I got radish right there. I just need to go buy some vinegar. Is Pierre open? Pierre is open. All right. We'll make a quick little pilgrimage for some vinegar. Yeah, we need something a bit more bombastic than that to start the stream off with. <laughs> I need two radishes. Well, I have two radishes in the chest, so, so we're good there. Vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. I will buy five vinegar just to have it. Aged fermented liquid used in many cooking recipes. If it's used in so many cooking recipes, why can't I make it myself, Concerned Eight? Make it make sense. Surprised we didn't buy vinegar earlier. We just haven't needed it up until this point, I guess. We need two radishes. We only need one radish for the salad. All right, we're good. Radish, salad. Yummy. Homie's long lost cousin, yummy. Yummy. <laughs> I will tailor it really quick. I know I'm wasting time, time, time that is precious. Time that I said I don't have, but something, some things transcend the need for time. That's a nice shirt. Silky shirt from a radish salad. <laughs> made from a silky smooth substance and smells like vinegar and it's dyeable too we could change the color on that one if we want I like that I would never have expected radish salad of all things to tailor into something something so pretty all right Radish salad, very funny joke randomizer. That's not where we're ending the stream, though. 37.9%. Where we're really ending the stream... Oh, come on. I... <laughs> it's so easy! It's like one of the easiest cooking goals you could possibly give me, dude. Alright, fine. We'll run this one back. But next time for sure. Next time for sure. <laughs> next goal. We can't just keep rolling here. This is crazy. Sashimi, the randomizer is going to keep me trapped here forever. This does beg the question. What's the first fish that we turn into sashimi? What what do we what do we dare turn into sashimi? We got some extras in here just like hanging out. We have a stingray fish pond. We could go stingray on this. I won't be late for work, don't worry. I, I, I usually like to, you know, leave enough time for me to, like, go get something to eat real quick and then still have some time. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm, feel, I'm feeling Stingray. Big Stingray energy on this one. Sashimi. Yummy. Alright, and of course, the traditional tailoring of the sashimi. Have I tailored sashimi before? There's, there's a possibility that I have because you can get it in the mail, right? Shirt. <laughs> it's the same shade as the sashimi. Mmm. 
sushi shirt. Shirt. <laughs> Randomizer loves us. Randomizer is treating us right today. But that can only last so long. All right. All right. This time, this time for real. This time for real. You have my word. You have my solemn vow. My promise. Whatever this next goal is, it's our next. It's 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 next stream. We're waiting on the next stream for this one. Finish that. Thirty-eight point one percent. Hit me with it. Three, a two, a one. Ship bug meat. You piece of garbage. Because I can do a shipping goal. Because I have to end the day anyway, so I can just do this. Wait, do I have bug meat? I might not have bug meat, actually. <laughs> I might not have bug meat. Now that I'm thinking about it. I have to, I have to sleep anyway, so... <laughs> Bug meat, bug meat. One bug meat. <laughs> Frick you, randomizer. You know I have one bug meat. You know I can't don't have it in me to not ship it when I have to sleep anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, lock it in. Lock it in. Bug meat successfully shipped. Eight gold. You love to see it. My bug meat empire begins here. Okay. I know I've done like four fake outs at this point, but this time for real. This time for real. No matter what, we've we've just saved the day. It's a brand new day. Whatever we have to do next, it, it can wait for next time. It can, it can wait for next time. Unless. Unless it's something like really easy. No, no, no. Every, no matter what. No matter what. Bug meat shipped. This might be a new record for goals completed in a single stream. I'm not even sure. We've done so many at this point. Can we do this next one? We cannot because there's not enough time for anything. But gain a combat level. All right. That's... Yeah. All right. Good to see. I'm happy to see you, combat level. Long time no see, old friend. Monster eradication goals on the horizon. We'll get our first one eventually here. That's a good spot to end. That is a I'm glad I'm glad we went the distance here. I'm I'm perfectly fine with this stopping point. <laughs> Beat up bugs next time. I am out of bug meat, strangely enough. Alright. Well, thank you for thank you all for joining me on this uh this chaotic endeavor of a stream today. It was a fun one. It was a fun one. We got our second star drop. We have did some leveling up. We had some laughs. We had some tears. And we didn't uh, upset anyone by talking about whether water is tea again. So it was a good time all around, I would say. Hope you had a fun time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head off here. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you all next week, hopefully sometime. Whether for randomizer shenanigans or other shenanigans. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And as always, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and good night, friends. Bye-bye.